I'm gonna yank. Yeah. I'm gonna yank. Yeah. Would you like, like some cool art stickers? Humanity first. It's an ethos. It's a design principle. It means that you know, as you're designing, engineering the rules of your government, thinking about well, this thing is going to make people happier, stronger, and richer. That's nice. And freer. And more powerful. And more able to pursue whatever the hell it is. So, yeah, it's a design principle that was behind Andrew Yang's campaign, which is just cool. You guys are very loud. That's the same. Politics. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, to me, this is not politics. This is evolution. This is philosophy. This is like a spiritual awakening. Because um, our systems, you know, our systems of government. And the economy is actually not working so well anymore. No, it's jacked. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're aware of that. Yeah, yeah we know that part. <laughs> we do. We're aware so, of that. So we think it's like a like it's a spiritual awakening, where if you just like all people are conscious to oh, what makes humanity more fun to be a part of, then just design everything around that. Forget your partisan politics. Forget your ideology. What you label. Your, are you left? Are you right? Like, just Design it like an engineer would, with the idea of making everybody's life better. Make it simpler. Yeah. More simple. Yeah. 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 So these are totally collectible. Yeah. Because I made those. Oh, and, um, oh nice. And the Yang campaign has moved and turned it into a, a social movement to end poverty. Oh, we get more stickers. First. This this is his campaign sticker. The math means make America think harder. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and, and, and that's what we're going to keep doing for the next four years until the next presidential election. Because um, I think it's only a matter of time that someone will gain spirit and goals gets noticed. But it does take some time to notice. Like, during this election, it was just a rat race where everybody already had their allegiances and so much <laughs> and it's oh, three, no. there's four adult men sleeping in <laughs> five actually <laughs> sitting in the middle of their chair. Oh no! Yeah. That sounds like a wild thing. Yeah, oddly, it was actually I got really nice sleeps. Wow. That's just me. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, oh, uh, uh, hey, that's why I'm Anastasia. Anastasia. Yeah. 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 Ye
go to my YouTube channel is called Gang Gang Street Team. Oh. This is called the Revolution of Reason. Man, it's cold as shit. You guys could be talking about right, something. That's like the most interesting thing I've heard. Yeah, um, I'll shoot you a text. If you wanted to, you know, this, this movement is going to have a lot of parts to it. We have a book club starting up nationally. Um, oh, there's a lot of. Oh, that's what they are. There's those scholar things. Oh, hold on. Not those. Not those. These ones. Yeah, what? the better ones. I got the color. I have the special edition. The, 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 <laughs> yeah, the better ones. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, you got one. fancy ones. Oh, and thank back, you. This is a ticket down the rabbit hole. All right. Because those three things, any of these videos will get you sucked into the movie. That's what happened right. to me. It's what happened to all of us. Yeah. All right. We'll check it out. Thanks. Oh, thanks. See ya. We just rolled him into a fucking adventure, bro. <laughs> Hey, you guys want some cool stickers, bro? Uh, sure. Have you heard of the Humanity First Movement? I have not. This is the philosophical uh, network of people who subscribe to a philosophy that was driving Andrew Yang's campaign. You were right, Andrew Yang? Yeah. Hey, are you guys Yang Gang? Oh, yeah. I'm not, honestly not sort too of. familiar with all of this because I'm not from yeah. here, so. Yeah. It takes some time. Like, this guy's from the future. Like, figuratively, not literally. Yeah. You guys know we were the only campaign where we had Europeans, people flying from overseas to volunteer for it. I was out in Iowa volunteering, and there's like a British guy next to me, this guy from South Africa. We're knocking doors. And why would you as an American fly over to a different country to poli participate in their politics, volunteer, and it's not even the primary, it's just the general. The reason is Yang has the one policy, and his whole like mindset, uh, but specifically the universal basic income Policy is supposed to end poverty once and for all in an age where technology is automating away work. So this is a point where if you think about what Star Trek is like, right? everybody has access to technology. We actually have a lot of those technologies now. Uh, drone delivery is actually, we could actually have had it 10 years ago, five years ago, except for regulations, they're slowing it down. Yang is the person that will propel mankind into our next phase of evolution, which is a, a time where nobody is driven by fear, everybody is only driven by joy and enjoyment. And um, they're, they're calling this the revolution of reason. Matt means make America think harder. Um, you should very go with both of them. Do you guys know what early voting is happening today? Yeah. Supposed to be somewhere. We'll find a location. We're gonna set up a table here. Yeah, we'll find that though. Because yeah. we have an exam like an hour to study for, so we gotta like. Oh, so like you're in a hurry it. now? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> so. Yeah, after your. We'll be here. Okay. Oh, yeah. When your, your, your test is an hour? Yeah. Fuck, I'm nervous for you. I used <laughs> to do that you. too when I was in school. <laughs> yeah, we're in nursing yeah. school, so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, good luck. Thank you. Yeah. I don't even know where they go. <laughs> However long wait you want to podcast, I think that's the word about humanity first movement. Have you heard of first movement? No. It's a design principle. Yeah. Well, it's a very specific design principle. It's asked, what answer you're designing, you're designing the rules of the government, just ask yourself, what would you like to do? Is this going to make people happier or stronger? Is this going to make people happier or stronger? ask yourself, is this going to make people happier or stronger? And if it does that, keep it in there. But it doesn't just adjust it. That's understandable. Like that. Seems pretty straightforward to me. That's all it is. Yeah. a breath of fresh air. Yeah. Like when you that. do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And it was also the, the philosophy driving Andrew Yang's mm -hmm. campaign. Did you know what Matt means make America think about this? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's cool. <laughs> People are calling this. I will definitely take one. I am a Yang kind of well, like, person. I like Yang a lot. Actually. Yeah. I really like his ideas. What he's trying to do. Like Unfortunately, it kind of sucks that he dropped out, but I mean. It's actually used as such a mixed blessing because um, I cried for a day, but then uh, you know, now I can talk about the philosophies mm -hmm. and people thinking like I'm trying to steal. Push like a. Yeah, the whole agenda. rat race was such a constricting. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. 
which I, I think he's going to be the Bernie of like 2024. I think yeah, like he's yeah. going to have that support that he had from four years ago going into the future. Because I think his ideas make sense. It all like it's all logical. It all it's like the numbers make sense. Everything yeah. that he talks about, is like so. I like him. I told I, we had a little closing rally. And, uh, we got to shake his hand. And That's told, really cool. Yeah, so I said uh, we're gonna put humanity first into every corner of the American society. So we'll just walk in <laughs> next time. Or you don't even have to do it. Because you never really wanted to. You know, so 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 How's he like as a person? He seems like a pretty grounded, well. He's nice um. Guy. He's super grounded. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my only complaint was that he wasn't like, like he didn't ingratiate me because I was like because sometimes like when Asians see each other and they're like hey, this is fair and enough you can tell it's like a little bit like, exaggerated mm-hmm. and, but he was just like you know, should, like, he yeah. treat me any special I was like a little bit but yeah overall like what you see on the that makes sense, yeah. That's sweet. It's really cool seeing him with his family. Yeah, yeah. Great. So, yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you again. Yeah. Yeah. Keep an eye out. The, the hashtag is still going. Mm-hmm. This is being turned into the social movement. We have a book club nationally. We have a lot of places where people can get looped into the philosophies. Um, so, and then he's signed in 2024. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Great. I'm, I'm making a podcast, and you're right. Cool. Yeah. So are you guys uh, okay with being on YouTube? Yeah, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Cool. cool. I'm ready. Thanks. I'm Amy. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Peter, nice to meet you, man. Amanda. You guys want a, a link to it? Can I yeah. Uh, it? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, please. And I also send you guys any events. We were going to throw a party last year, but I think some of our funding got locked up. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. This would be Oh, oh, okay. This could take a few minutes. I mean, people are also going up, like, knowing what they want to vote for, you know, the pharmacy, so it'll, it doesn't take long. So Yang's still on the ballot. Can you view both? Is he actually still on the ballot? Yes. Oh, yeah, he's going to be my second choice. I didn't know he's actually still on the ballot still, yeah, but... It, it, however, you know, you vote for him, the more he gets voted up, the, the just the higher... At the poll, you pick his ideas. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, you know, the, the unconditional basic income is the big one that everybody wants. It's not just the states, the world. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's, that was the reason we had foreign volunteers coming over because economists around the world have already theorized that unconditional basic income would end poverty. Mm-hmm. Because Pretty much. So the next Putting a thousand dollars into basically everyone's pocket is going to create homelessness problems. Gonna create a much more productive environment for people to prosper. I just like his ideas a lot, man. It makes a lot of sense, yeah, so. It's it's super exciting. Mm -hmm. Because it's like when Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it's like survival at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you take care of that for every single American, then all of a sudden, all this is where everybody Mm -hmm. should know have their minds. Yep. And, 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 yeah. When you it's don't have to focus good. on like surviving, you can yeah. focus on being productive and doing things. So, so I think like with this phrase, it's like party energy is greater than That's fear energy. Mm-hmm. And um, there's a festival called Burning Man. Have you guys heard of it? Oh yeah, in Reno, yeah. Yeah. Have you guys been to it? Yeah. Never. So, so. so with that place, you get to see how everybody it's, it's full abundance everywhere. There's no trading anyone. There's no money. It's all bartering, it's all, right? It's yeah. not bartering either. You don't trade at all. You gift. Oh. It's like, I came camping, and I brought too many grilled cheese. And, so, and I also have a blow home. And I'm like, grilled oh, cheese, I'm good. And like, I was in the party in, in my campground. That's what it's like everywhere. And they build like these crazy um, structures, and then they burn down some days. It's just like a certain way of having fun. Yeah. But it's a really good demonstration of how much work gets done based on, I just want to have as much fun as I can. And that's the type of energy that will drive humanity when we remove fear energy, which is just, I gotta survive, I gotta survive. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta like. Can I finish this out and give you these? Yeah. Oh, sweet. So there's videos in the back. Oh, okay, cool. And that's how you, I mean, that's how most of us found out about the videos on the Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you.
Thank you. Um, what was your name? I got it. Amanda. What was you guys both like? Oh, yeah. Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, like, this line is outside and it's like kind of music. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun, this campaign. <coughs> you guys are, have you guys, were you guys activists at all? Or out there? Or just no, not me personally. I like school we're musicians so we're always consistently doing like something but I keep up to date yeah. <laughs> music majors? yeah, yeah. dope oh, jazz? jazz yeah word we're all jazz we're all jazz, jazz majors yeah awesome yeah where do you go hang out? the dispensary yeah okay. sounds about right that's where all the jazz ah, I think it's no, well no it's uh, called no. the dispensary it's a but it's called the dispensary okay it's on okay. trap and like Trop in Easter. That sounds great. I'm going to write it down. Yeah, this is a cool place. It's a cool hang. I there's think there's music, music on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Saturdays. Yep. Oh, there's, a, there's someone playing tomorrow night. Oh. John Abrams Project. There's a free What's jazz tonight? concert tonight at the front of the library. Okay. Right across the street. Dispensary Lounge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is that? The Flamingo Library. There's something going on tonight at 7. The library? Yeah. That's <laughs> funny. Our libraries have really nice theaters, actually. Mm-hmm. So it's an actual library? Yeah, yeah it's so a library with a the theater. It's a library, but there's a theater inside. That sounds like a good place. We're playing yeah. at, uh, the, there's the Wendell Library. You're playing at? I'm, no, we are tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight, yeah. But uh, on Monday, next Monday, at the Windmill Library, we're all playing. Super yeah. cool. The Windmill Library, that's tonight, right? Mm-hmm. Live music. It's free. It's free. All, everything is. Well, you, there's a cover charge. It's free. Like five dollars or something. Awesome. Yeah, I, I've been here, but mostly doing campaign stuff. And then uh, checking out places that are kind of flop for this time. Yeah. Okay. Get recommendations from music majors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I think I'll, I'll go with one now. Yeah. Cool. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thanks. Mm-hmm. So design principle. Did you hear? Uh, have you heard about this? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Do you know he's still on the ballot? Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you heard of the Humanity First Andrew Yang campaign? Uh, I've heard of Andrew Yang clearly, okay. but right. So now that he suspended his campaign, we are—it's uh, more of a social movement. It's a ideology of putting humanity first. And it's also just an engineering design principle. You know, as you create your rules of government, always ask yourself what will make people stronger, happier, richer. Pardon me. And uh, yeah. That's, uh, it's kind of... Do you feel like this is the best one for right now? <coughs> Which? To, to, even though he has retired, to still try to push this way, even though the numbers don't push that Oh, we're not trying to get him elected, we're just trying to get the ideas alive. And well, hope. wouldn't it be better for him to maybe try to run with somebody that has the ability to win? Oh, for sure. I think there'll be somebody VP. Like that, so maybe instead of, like... Dividing with votes may go or making it confusing oh, right. for people. Because you, you get this, this can't be really Well, confusing. we're not trying to make it confusing for people. So. Um, yeah. You are, though. How's that? Um, what are you trying to get people to do right now? To uh, be aware of the engineering, who be using ideas. Absolutely. Yeah. 
the philosophy, but you're also elevating I've heard, I've humanity, you guys making things. America think I, I get it. Listen, phenomenal. Oh, you got it. Okay, phenomenal. Cool. phenomenal. Can you repeat back to me what you heard? No, 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 because I'm not here to be uh, instructed by you. I'm definitely okay. not here to prove a point. That's just a request. Thank you. For excellent, excellent. Yeah. So what I'm, what I'm asking is, what are you accomplishing right now by telling people to put them in the ballot? Mm -hmm. right? yeah. it, that's not creating awareness. That's making voting the voting process. Do you want to hear my answer or do you want to answer for me? Uh, what's your answer? Right, let's talk okay. privately over here. This well, wait, because you're doing this public forum thing, and it's, again... I was just doing my thing. This is your conversation. Absolutely. You have questions for me, I'm answering them. I know, I know, but you're doing very publicly, and that's, that's the problem. Okay. The problem is that right now, well, you're supposed to be within a certain amount of feet from the voting area. Well, if that's the case, then that's okay. okay. So, can yeah. you do that? Because but that's not... You do not dictate the rules. No, absolutely not, but I can find somebody that does. So, if you're not following the rules... We can find somebody that can go ahead and make you follow the Because it's not, it's not dark. I don't think anybody's enjoying this conversation. Right? I'm, I'm definitely, I'm not. I respect you. I respect you. Absolutely, I respect you, you too. You. So we'll find, yeah. we'll find somebody that can tell you what to do. Okay. Would you like to pull the stick for a second? Good. Thank you. I'll take that. Thank you. Did you, you know how Andrew won this campaign? Yeah. Because there's a philosophy behind this campaign, and all it is about. As you design your rules of government, always ask, will you make people happier, stronger, and richer? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Did you like one of these? I already got one. Oh, you did? Okay. Because I just read the book when I was a kid, and I was just uh, like, damn, yeah, okay. the first one was really good, and the rest of them were awful. <laughs> I couldn't get past the second one. But I went to go see the movie, and I won, like, you like a $20 gift card, card as a raffle prize. So my 10-year-old ass is, like, has to go up on stage and get this card. So all of these, like... Like other college students are just like, oh, I'm like, the fuck you're making me tell I just wanted to watch this kid. Really uh, you know, have you heard about human universe? Yeah, my dad brought me to the point um, so he's still on the ballot. Okay. Yeah. 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 You just want to push his yeah. ideas? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to her. Just get somebody that knows yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. Thank you. I would appreciate it. It's within 100 feet. It's probably right over there where the American people are. Yeah. So you could just stop this spot and what you got to do. Do it over there. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll do it right. when somebody no, tells no, me to. Is, is that you that's in charge or something? No, I'm not in charge. Oh, okay. uh, so, like, 100 feet is down here. Uh -huh. And that's as far as close as we can get. Okay. Are you in the burning? Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. Right here, right? Yeah, like the stairs. The Okay. Word. Anyway, did you know about the yeah. yeah, I just got this that guy I wasn't sure if he was telling me the real Yeah, oh, no, no, no. So, yeah. I was getting out sick of it. Are you going to do this right now? Thank you for participating in democracy in the next hours. Thank you for participating. I was at a second. We could be in the end of the day. Yes, we could be in the end of the day. This is a design philosophy we're trying to um, get into whoever comes into power as president. It's uh, just... No, not whoever. Uh, everybody besides Charlotte. Of course. Whoever, whoever of us gets nominated. Be specific. That's very important. Yeah, we're not trying to win any specific... Personally, I'm not needing to win any, put any specific person up there. I just want whoever up there to adopt this idea is just that it's a very simple design principle and it's just like as you engineer the rules of government always ask yourself is this going to make people happier stronger richer and if it does then do that policy if not then adjust it how'd it go you guys want to stick well we mind our government always put you in your face as the engineer yeah, one hour. Uh, society. Right. He's suspended. He's still on the ballot. Still on the ballot. You can still vote for him. Okay, they just try, they just try to block the ballot. That's why we're here. This, this, is, a, this is the design principle behind Andrew Yang's campaign. Yeah. He, 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 he was suspended. He's, he's not actively campaigning. He's not actively campaigning, so we're not trying to win a race. It's just about fixing the issues. And it doesn't matter if it's Yang fixing or it's Bernie or Biden. We just want 
Yeah. Whatever is up there. I told him where to find us. We want whoever is in government to put people first as they design the rules of our society. This is a hundred spaces. So you can go from here over. Okay? Any server? A hundred over. Okay? And a cool reminder to our government that as they design the rules of our Society to put our humanity first. <laughs> and not corporations, not kind of stuff like that. Or like at the start of the Did you know math means make America think of it? Yeah. This is uh, some <laughs> memory of the game. Are you all ready to play the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 no, right here is fine. I think uh, your, your friend was kind of working yeah. on the game. Yeah. Word. Well, well you still on Dallas? Oh, yeah, sure. We're not trying to win a race anymore. It's about spreading awareness and get, trying to get whoever's up there to adopt the same right. philosophies. Yeah. Uh, so the higher you vote him up, the, yeah. the more visibility his message will get. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the, the rule is 100 feet. You want to see it? Oh, I got one out of Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I get it. That's me all the time, too. Half the time. Did <laughs> you guys know math means make America think hard about it? And now that we're not trying to you know, not defeat anybody, no, it's actually a lot better now. You're saying it's an hour. Try to elevate the ideas and you know, steal votes from people as people probably are doing. Um, you know, a lot of, we're, we're the only campaign where we have foreigners flying over from Europe or Asia to Australia to volunteer. And the reason is economists worldwide have theorized that unconditional basic income will end poverty once and for all, especially in an age where technology is automating their work. Um, so for me, um, I don't mind that Yang is not running for the 2020 because uh, it's, it's a longer view I have oh. to facilitate uh, uh, society's survival and an evolution into our next days. Which is like, like I think like first day. Think about like this is interesting. Like <laughs> speaking at it from like more of a spiritual perspective, I mean, yeah, or, or yeah, more like to try to beat Trump. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's bro. Okay. Like when I first okay. got here, it was yeah, definitely like the beating Trump like is the short term in the hallway. The immediate danger, up, immediate task. It's definitely been expanding. And so, but, like, I mean, I'm okay leaving that to another like, person that's not. Uh, to, to, to try that, to try to dethrone Trump. Exactly. Um, but, but beyond that, do you have any other concerns for our... I mean, the, the best time to come back to the direction of our evolution? I told them where to find us. But yeah, I so this design principle is very simple. It's just about, like, as you engineer the rules of the government, always ask yourself, is this going to make people happier, stronger, and richer? If not, change the policy. This is a reminder to our clients, whoever, you know, we're not trying to win any specific race, but um, whoever, Whoever makes it into office, we want them to think about humanity first, not corporations first, not their own power. Uh, it's a two hour away from that point, so you'll be fine. We can't cross this curve. There's a force field here where, like, yeah. You don't know now, people. You know they're calling this the revolution of reason. It's kind of silly. Yeah. Well, the Yang is supposed to be silly because you have to think deeper to you know what you're about. Yeah. Um, this is a social I'm movement. I'm sitting here and I'm trying to not remember my It's a social movement. We remember names at the same time. You totally, it's a lot. Yeah. But I mean, for the people that have already been awakened. I'd like to say I've gotten better. I mean, I'm still awakening you, you know? Make America think harder is a constant so we've process. Got, right now we've got it's think, you think harder all the time. Like, now that we're here, what's the next thing? Like, about so this yeah, point yeah, here, here to like, like, right in front of yeah. the office, yeah. is the 100 foot time where we're allowed to start talking to people. Sharing. Sharing. 
like it's an Asian it store. Um, yeah. And now it's a pillar back. Yeah. Yeah. And it means like only a pillar back. Right. We're going to talk to people. Besides that, uh, right so now. So it functions at a lot of different levels. On one level, it's. Uh, from this point? It's, Playing with um, America's the identity complexes in a positive way. On another uh, level, it makes math and science cool. Oh, the site director. The site director. Well, so it makes someone come and act on people. Right, so it makes you think. And then it's like, they'll vote for a candidate that dropped out. Hopefully, but I don't think it's the same way. And then they call them out. We yeah, are not entirely true. I think we just need to find more conversation. It wouldn't be discarded. Yeah, There's yeah, different kinds of people. Also, you have these ranked choice votes. Yeah, ranked choice voting, but it was still pretty adamant. Yeah, so we have the number for the Democratic. How are you enjoying this? Yeah. Like tip line no, or whatever. Line. We're yeah. passing these out. Yeah. It's a reminder to whoever makes it in power. I'm going to say, I'm not going to call them right away. Put humanity if first. Like, you know, if, we if, we, if we get another one of those, then we're going to. Yeah. And uh, also, Danny knows I think Danny. Her shirts? Yeah. All right. Danny's on her way up. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh-huh. I mean, that will solve all of our problems, basically. And that's why he wanted to do unconditioned constitution. I was in all of the money. So, yeah, we have a nice solution. Is there so, any, for the time being, I'm posting some ideas to like, stronger, and, and, uh, stay on the corner. More free to pursue our life. Oh, okay, it's the same thing. Yeah, take care of you. All that one de-stressor for all Americans. Stress for all. Yeah, he's here. He's here. He's everywhere. He's in our minds. Uh, about an hour to an hour and a half right now. Um, I should just hand it to him. Just about it, right? Yeah, and I told him that I would try to put, I told him that I would put humanity want, first into yeah, every corner of the American psyche so that he could just walk in with stuff. Or he doesn't even have to be president, he doesn't want to. Yeah. He's, this campaign is no longer a race to win some competition. It's a social movement to end poverty and for humanity first. That means each of you just think about about an hour and an hour and a half. Each of your friends, each yeah. of your yeah. family members, everyone in the community. And if we just design our rules, our policies, and our day to day decisions around that awareness, the problem solves itself. We don't need any presidents. Like well, I mean, probably you still do. Yeah. Yeah. But, I think, yeah, a lot of people, once they hear the More or less, we don't need to worry about what's up there. I got here right when I opened it. it was like He's still on the ballot. So, so, so the, the more you vote him up, the, the higher up his ideas. We want the next president to adopt, preferably, unconditional basic income. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know Martin Luther King called it uh, guaranteed minimum wage. And that's the reason our campaign had Europeans flying over here to volunteer. Because economists and futurists and philosophers around the world have already predicted that unconditional basic income is going to be necessary and will solve poverty once it falls. So it's going to be basic income. Basic income. So give every citizen, give every citizen the means by which to participate in their economy. Which means our economy is money. Yes. Yeah, you don't sound like you like it. It will help. Uh, let's say you get together with two of your friends. It's... I would love to chat with you because I've heard this before. I've heard everything you're saying. You know, he has two million bucks. It's lower than Bernie's. He has less money than Bernie. You know, Bernie's net worth is like 10 million. He's got a lot of money too. He's got a lot of money too. That would bring the revolution. Who wants to start a revolution and Yang yeah. already has a revolution? Yang yeah. already has a revolution. It's called the revolution of the Yang It's okay. Look, Bernie's a good guy too. I'm not trying to steal those from him. For sure. Have you looked? Okay. So you don't think he's a good guy. What have you seen? It's gonna be an hour long week. Has, has he? No, he's not. I'm not, I'm not trying to get him elected. I'm trying to get universal basic income. Yeah, but what else do I would love if Bernie would pass. What? Okay, just it's okay. You could have all that too. I just want Bernie. I want Bernie. I want Bernie. That's the issue. Why do you work every day? That's the issue. Why do you have to work every day? Yeah. Right. I think people don't. She's worked every day. 
but Bernie wants everybody to work. Have you seen that statistic? Yeah. Uh, hour, hour and a half from this poll. Yeah. I used to work with you. Amazon Robotics. I'm on the email. Yes. I'm trying to exploit you. Uh, again, you can call us on Saturday. This is the last day of early voting. Everything Bernie says is right. For some reason, the first time, the last day for the UNLV early voting, this is the first time they're doing early voting on campus this year. But they put it on the last day. Yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah, I was looking at the newspaper to say where to go. Uh, Saturday, Saturday, yeah. No, yeah. two, two, three. I think it's Saturday, yeah. Saturday, yeah. Saturday, 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 Saturday. Some locations working for the industry. Right, so, yeah. UNLV was not. UNLV was not. This is the first time they're doing that. Would you like a reminder for our government in the form of a sticker? No. Sure. Don't, you look so familiar. Have I met you on the campaign trail? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Are you part of the... The Democratic, uh, the Indivisible Democratic League? Mm. Yeah. No, no. I'm just, I have a double door. Right. <laughs> this is just a, our reminder to, to whoever gets into power to put humanity first as they design whatever policies they're designing. Always ask, is this going to make people stronger, happier, and richer? If it is, you keep doing it. If it doesn't, you change the policy. You don't get too hung up on partisanship and ideology. It's also the movement that's behind Andrew Yang's campaign. Are you aware of Andrew Yang and the news? Because you know Matthew is making America think of it. <laughs> I don't think people like it. Oh, yeah. Seems so great. It, yeah, the more the more he is known, the better for our country. Because I mean, look at this. I'm gonna be that guy. All right, look at this marketing. I, <laughs> this is not you know Andrew didn't create this. With some illustrator uh, named Jonathan in LA drew this face, and I was like, yeah, kind of like the full. It's like he's the full creator of this. <laughs> Is that some news? Did you vote for Bernie? So Yang's on the ballot, and if you vote for him, like, he'll just kick his ideas wow. out. Did you hear the... What is this is about? Right. So it's a reminder to whoever's in power, as they engineer the rules of our society, to ask, is this going to make people stronger, happier, richer? And if it does, keep doing it. If it doesn't, modify it. I can measure how, how it's doing. You think it becomes it, it totally is common sense. <laughs> um, and this is also the ideology behind Andrew Yang's movement. Did you, do you guys know about Andrew Yang? I was going to vote for it. He worked? Yeah. Like, yeah. And did you know you can still vote for it? Does it only happen? So, yeah, the, the dynamics <laughs> is that you uh, probably won't be viable, so your second choice will be the person you know. But the number one is a really strong statement. That, uh, that's who your heart was for. So I, ju I always recommend people vote who you are, vote who your heart tells you to vote. Kind of fuck everything. Yeah. It's just noise. Everything is noise. That's I mean that's the first thing, and then the strategic thing is that uh, we want to propel his message up to the next person who gets into the campaign. You know you were in the campaign with foreigners flying overseas to volunteer. Yeah. And the reason is he has the, this policy, it's called unconditional place of need. Um, I have a cool fire. Nice. Uh, it's well over an um, hour away. Yeah, the economists around the world said and theorized that this policy would end poverty. Did you guys already vote? Um, in a world where technology is being automated work. Yeah, this dude wrote two uh, books about how AI I just technology has evolved society and will continue to. And in the first chapter, he goes, we are living into, we have the technology to live into a Star Trek future. But right now, we're turning to a man. Sure. You heard that? No, I have that. There's a long way, there's a long way from here to this.
Here, take this. There's videos on the back. You can check those out. Would you like to remind our government officials to put the money first? Sneak up to, um, I would use these stickers by sneaking up to your local yeah. politician or a local yeah, politician in the beginning and you know, putting this on the edges. Uh, they have like the same amount of staff. Before they But they're probably going to be. Have you heard of Humanity First before? Uh, it's Andrew Yang's design principle. It just means as you're yeah. engineering the rules of your government, you ask yourself what's going to make people stronger, happier, and richer. Just, uh, just about an hour, an hour and a half later. That's why you wanted to give everybody an hour. Are you the organizer? Uh, no, I'm not an organizer. I'm just here supporting a camp. Oh, no, there's a lot of things. That should be fun. When you actually get up there, they're going to help with your license. They're going to help you with the process of getting your information out. Oh. No, actually, if you actually have this, this would actually help a lot faster. But it doesn't matter if you don't have this. It doesn't matter. If you just have a, a driver's license and your basic information. Did you have a question? As far as I know, you don't. Mm -hmm. uh, until you get up. Did you guys get but when you get up there, what do you mean? I don't know if you can send out. Um, I don't. Uh, wait, what? Uh, you know, uh, do you know? Do you need your registration, registration card? No, you don't. You don't need your registration card. They're going to give you a flyer where you can fill out your information. They're going to give you a flyer where you put out your name, address, and when you get closer, they're going to talk to you how to fill it out. And how to do it. But you don't need your voter registration. Did you just vote? Did you just vote? Huh? No, there's like water. There's water fountain over there. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you said it's about, it's about an hour? Yeah. Hey, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I should have lost it. It's an hour and a half wait. Anyone want to read a book? Yeah. <laughs> it's only two words. Huh? What's his foreign policy? His foreign policy is actually going to be ending forever wars. So he doesn't want America to be in these wars that are holding, that are wasteful in money, and they're not doing effective for our American military. So policy is en ending forever wars. Yeah, so the idea is not to uh, Stepwise is going to be withdrawing troops from the Middle East and other areas that knows that logically the American people don't believe in. So a lot of these wars, us as Americans, we don't vote in. That's going to be the first step, and it's also going to be uh, the second step is going to be a plan that actually addresses how we're going to. Uh, so, you know, pull people out of the human condition. How we pull people out, um, our troops out. Well, I mean, that's, that's his thing. Okay, yeah. regardless of who you're talking about, it's a worldwide thing. It's so, how does that impact the like, countries like Yemen that are already yeah, completely yeah. destroyed because of the communists around the world? Um, I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly, right okay. don't know exactly okay. about his foreign policy. I don't want to just lie to you. I don't know. Neither do I, because I've never heard of them. I don't think anyone does about their candidate, to be honest. I mean, I know about Bernie. Yeah, sure. But I don't know exactly. But his main idea for a, um, his foreign policy would be ending the forever wars. And actually providing so what does that mean with their relation with Saudi Arabia? Uh, Our relation with Saudi Arabia? Uh, again, he hasn't released anything step by step for that. It's a national awakening. It's about... Okay. Okay. But he, he wants to focus on domestic issues, so when people are stressed out by these issues, they can focus more on foreign policy. But we have to just directly address what's, what's affecting people here in America. Uh, his view on Israel and Palestine, I believe, not exactly, I don't know, but I believe he is pro um, Palestine leading, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Leading the Gaza, Gaza Strip. I'm not sure. It's definitely I I'm, I'm more of the domestic side, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. But there are some remember, issues that like these people, uh, I believe that you would like to look it up. A game Go right ahead. You give me your second make people. It's not, it's, it it could be your second choice if you're, if you're a little uncomfortable with this foreign policy. You get to vote for five candidates. For three, right? you, you could three. vote for three. You have to like, fill three out, right? You could fill three out, but you could actually fill out up to five. Okay. So if you're uncomfortable with him on his foreign policy, then he could be your second choice. I thought he already dropped. He suspended his campaign. So he's not actively running, but he's still on the ballot here in Nevada.
the next phase okay. is to conquer inefficient I'm gonna be honest with you, it's burning up coming down to Structures of society. Okay. Hey, if you could put them as number three, this is, make, make, make my day a little bit. The third option's okay with me. And now that Mary's campaign is suspended, focusing on where we're at, shooting the way it started. Yeah, I hope that landed well for you. I'm not trying to run away. Yeah, no, I, I get that it's not the. Yeah. We would chase after you, but this force field of 100 feet is holding us back. <laughs> if, you, if you would like further conversation around this, you should come get my contact. Yeah, yeah, I'll go. Like, right when we hit this pole, we're pushed, pushed back by like, loss. Yeah. We, we don't have much time to be with each other. And so, we do like Line for early voting, yeah. The most exciting About an hour and an hour and a half. So, uh, yeah. Um, I believe that joy, joy and enjoyment is a stronger motivator than fear and survival. And with Andrew Yang's campaign, we had a chance to vote in a universal basic income, which will allow everybody to have their basic needs taken care of, so no more fears. And all we're going to want to do is create and connect and play. So this one is Did you get one? Yeah. Do you know Andrew yet? You want to take a still on the ballot. And that's what this one is. Have a good one. Um, okay. um, this is just a reminder to whoever makes it into yeah. power to put up humanity first as they want to know the rules of our society. Always be asking, is this going to make people happier, stronger, and richer? That was the movement behind Andrew and his campaign. Yeah. And not make me to make another uh, thing part of it. Yeah. You want to use collective, I guess? Yeah. I'm still on the balance. It's so about an hour away, guys. Who wants to read it? Yeah, really. He'll, he'll make a spot. Like 100% free. He's going to steal anyone's thing. He's going to suspend it or something. Those ideas are good. Tell me this. There's no doubt. Can you leave first? I'll just be back. Okay. This is the idea. Yeah. I don't know. It's a philosophy behind Azure Yang's movement. It means that the Azure Engineering, the rules of government, are exactly. Because it's going to keep it happier, stronger, and richer. It's probably the shortest one around town. If it does, do more of it. If it doesn't, just change it. And don't be too attached to the idea of it. Because it's going to be a good thing. Do more of it. If it doesn't, just change it. And don't be too attached to your ideology, your left or right, capitalist, socialist. Those labels don't matter. Just do what makes people stronger, happier, and richer. What do you guys think about Andrew Yang and the story? Do you guys remember that? Oh, yeah. Have you heard of Humanity? That's the other thing that I forgot to ask. So it's a social movement that's come out of after Andrew Yang's history of this campaign. This was a philosophy that was driving this campaign. And it's just about encouraging our government to always ask when they're designing the policies, ask what would make people stronger, happier, and richer. Did you know the math means make America think harder? Where's the tire? What's going on? Yeah, I mean, this is different, right? You guys don't do this every, every day. Did you have to skip class when you were going to be here? No, no. Oh, I'm good. You woke up a little earlier? Yep. Did you want to learn Yeah, what are your thoughts? What are your feelings? Yeah, right? He's, uh, you know, it's actually better for him now that it's not a rat race, you know, because he's always been going to unite, share love, and build coalitions. <coughs> yeah. But he's still on the balance, so, you know, and if you vote on oh, it, well, that means yeah. his message gets in line more than into the class, spotlight. That's what it's all about. Right? Right. This is just a design principle. This is about an hour away no. here, at least. Um, there is another location nearby, 3511 East Carmen, the Nevada State Education Association building. Here it's got like a 10 or 15 minute wait. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Dying. Not too busy, right?
flying real fast. Uh, you want to be outside with a dance party like that, right? Is there going to be a music one? Uh, what? I saw you guys sitting at the stage. Right? Yeah, yeah, Bernie's holding a rally. There's going to be. Oh, he's uh, going to be here? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's holding a rally, and there's going to be uh, live performances by uh, Mike Snow and another Swedish artist. Oh. I was like bummed that I couldn't be there just because I wanted to be there with you know friends, but then I was like really bummed because of course a couple of man was the opening. Hmm. I mean, now that Yang has suspended his campaign, it's like certainly a social movement, so it's like it makes it a lot easier for me at least because I only like talking about the philosophy part of what he was about yeah. sure. rather than like the rat race. Yeah. It was always too narrowly focused on moonshot. Uh, for 2020. Yeah. So he's not in 2024. He's like, now we could just talk. We'll run for like um, Congress or Senate or something. I think sure. he could be a yeah. senator. Yeah. I'd, I'd be down. I don't even care. He doesn't do any of those. I think, yeah. I think if he retired as a family man, that would be a positive too. Um, I told him we had a little closing rally and I got to meet him. Would you cook? Would you cook you guys? Uh, not um, yeah. And did you just vote? Anyone guys on 14 Yeah, so what do you think of the, I mean, now that Yang's, he's an author and an entrepreneur, and he took this side quest for the presidency for 2020. Uh, I mean, it became his main quest, but he's been in the game. Yang cookies, huh? <laughs> <laughs> of course it is, of course it is. Yeah, he's freedom giving for every American adult. Mm. Did you know that that is the reason why we had Europeans yeah, coming over to the Because yeah. like the whole world, economists around the world theorize that that would end poverty once in the world. Oh, yeah, no, I, I worked at the University of Mexico. Yeah, so now I've got you as well. Yang's movement has finished the income of the past University of Mexico. So I know Bernie had thought about it in the past. So we think that if Bernie gets in, he probably will eventually do it. So that's what we're trying to do is raise awareness about basically what the humanity first, the design principle. Right. Which is just to ask yourself, as you're engineering the rules of government, always ask what's going to make people happier, stronger, richer. Happier, stronger, richer. Not corporations, but individual people. <laughs> That's a really good one, actually. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but he's still on the ballot when you load him up, and then it's just like, he has to get elevated. No, no, I remember. Okay. Suspended his campaign, but he's still uh, on the ballot, and he could come back. Well, he's well you're going to need to have that. But it was never about the race for me. Like, it was about spreading this message. Um, he wanted to do unconditional basic income, which, as a uh, technologist, I know that that's the way to a future utopia where everybody's basic income net, and human beings could just be created, exploratory, uh, just high level intelligent creatures. Right now, most people are wasting their minds. Um, I gotta drive Uber to deliver groceries just so I can scrape up my, my food and rent. And that's to me is like a waste of energy. Uh, I was paying attention. I liked his ideas, just like mm -hmm. being against the big corporations and stuff. But. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ways to talk about it for like, like the little immediate, key short term things. But just think about the high level ideology, like evolution, mankind. 
this is awakening of our consciousness. Like, oh my God, we have no technology to take care of everybody's ways with them. Let's do it and see what happens next. There is another the mind is about creativity, play, connecting with other people, um, invention. That type of thing is way better than survival, eat, uh, shelter, like am I going to starve to death next month? Yeah, I like that. It's a different energy to drive human beings. So that's what it's going on. So yeah, this whole thing has turned into a movement, not a political movement, it's a social awareness thing. Yeah, I told him, I got to meet him the other day, because we had a closing round. I told him that we were yes. too many persons yes. of every corner of the American mind, so that uh, we probably don't need him as president. Yeah. Or he could just walk in, because everybody knows that he started this movement. Is there the one who provided yeah, like that? Uh -huh. So vote him up, if you yeah. still see him, uh, he's going to still be on the ground. Okay, if he was on your mind before, I would vote him up. Do you know about humanity first? Cool. Yeah, and uh, that was you know, the ideology behind the lens campaign. Right? You know it's out in the front. Do you know what math means? Make America think about it? Yeah, this whole thing's turned into a movement now. It's not about winning a race anymore. It's about spreading a message. And this Getting in line. The first yeah. idea is just there to is, ask, uh, what's going to uh, make people here, stronger and happier and richer? If the policy does that, then people in the world. If it doesn't, then change it. Uh, and, you know, it's kind of the, the yeah. very matter of fact solutions to the approach that might be in the world. And this is like, the this social movement growing around this, these ideas. I was there yesterday. Like and that's where we're going. Right now. And actually, it has grown a lot faster since the end of this. over an hour. Uh, with our suspension. Okay. There is, there is, uh, so, yeah. How's that end for you? always been a supporter of you. It's like just a bunch of bad apples and Democrats. I would say, you know, if Yang was already on your list, Still vote for him because he's still on the ballot. The higher up he gets, the more spotlight his ideas have, and maybe we can end poverty once and for all. Because he had the idea called unconditional basic income. Philosophers have already predicted unconditional basic income would end poverty once and for all. Because when you have enough technology to do a lot of things automatically, it just makes sense to take care of everybody's basic needs and then let people. Uh, use their minds for higher level functions like exploration, arts, creation, creativity, and connecting. Yeah? Yeah, they're out there. They're out there. So that's the... I mean, Andrew, Andrew Yang is no politician. He's, he's a futurist. Uh, yeah, yeah it, it goes back here. Yeah. Good. What's going on for you? How's that landed? I mean, it's like... I've always thought like he's always been that, but just like the guy, like the new guy on the block. Right. Like right. his new ideas. Yeah, campaign wise, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But like, yeah, was, you know, him as a whole person, he's, he's been in the game of um, elevating social consciousness for at least the past ten years. <coughs> he ran a in, a in a very matter of fact on the ground way. He ran a non nonprofit startup accelerator. Um, that was he was trying to place he was fighting the brain drain that went from top schools to greedy centers of the US, like Wall Street and Silicon Valley. And he was funneling bright minds into the Midwest to start companies. And so that's the game that he was up to as a social entrepreneur. And then he's like, you notice that for every thousand jobs you create, you probably lose a hundred thousand jobs because of automation. <coughs> so as part of his obsession with elevating national consciousness, he ran for the presidency. And now, all of a sudden, all this awareness has been brought to these ways of thinking. And this is going to be the next renaissance over the next four years, which will kind of lead into games, or whoever is all about these principles will take office. Uh, we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. 
because it's a complete paradigm shift. All the way up until now, we've been driven by fear. Fear of sick, not surviving, not starving. Now we have so much technology. We can eliminate that fear every single choice. I guarantee you. Um, it's just, it's going to be a different phase of humanity. And it's pretty close. We can get there in four years. I believe so. Too. And I think this will people in here, like people who vote for Yang still, will pick his message up and it'll just it'll be like a little jump start for the next four year um, campaign to raise the awareness. Okay. Did you get all that? I got it. We're, we're doing a little podcast. And you guys are doing this. And you know, YouTube. Not really, but I mean, I didn't really take part in your interview, so. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Can you some questions? Are you guys welcome? Yes. Yeah. So, remind me of the official Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. <coughs> yeah, he um, suspended his race, so. Okay. For like yeah. the next. I'm just going 2024. So it's no longer about you know, winning, feeding people out, it's just about spreading the ideas and the message. Right. Which is humanity first, it's just uh, it's just to tell our officials that as they engineer the rules of our society, to ask themselves, what's going to make people stronger, happier, and richer? Always design the policies around that. Cool. Yeah. You're still on the ballot, too. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want some of these one case ones? I have them. Okay. You know, he's still on the ballot, so the higher he gets older, the, the more his ideas get seen. It's not about winning, winning the race, but you want to put humanity first into the mind of every elected official, every person. It's, just, it's a very simple design principle. It's just like, as you engineer the rules of your society, always ask, is this rule going to make people happier, stronger, and richer? If it does, then do the rule. If it doesn't, change the policy. Yeah. Did you know Matt means making a different party? This is the ideology behind Yang's campaign. Uh, it's very simple. It just means as you're designing the rules of the government, always ask, is this rule going to make people happier, stronger, and richer? If it, if it does that, then do the policy, and it doesn't change it up. I didn't see the lady, but I saw the yeah. Did you know Mac means Make America Think Harder? Corner, and all that whole place. Yeah. That was part of Andrew Yang's campaign. He suspended his campaign. So right now, we're not trying to beat people out. Yeah, we're just trying to like get these ideas up. <laughs> Yang was never possessive about his ideas. He's like, it's Bernie about <laughs> basic <laughs> income. Awesome. Uh, he's willing to be anybody who's got a member or a VP. Or even if he's not, if he's in grassroots, he's already started this movie. Like, um, I told him, I shook his hand the other day, because he had a closing rally. And he was like, you're just going to put humanity first in the psyche, the American psyche. So he doesn't even have to be present. He can just walk in. People are beautiful, get it done! That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, he's the only guy that has a, a vision that's like about utopia. Uh, we actually have, this is a very limiting belief that we can't have utopia. We can't because we already have a lot of automation and autonomy. I suppose you don't mean. You know, you have your ideas, right? Oh, yeah. The economists around the world have theorized about the same objects. It's like part of the evolution of human beings. Like, imagine. That's not what you're doing. Right now, we're going to have a society driven by survival and fear. We have a society driven by survival and fear. I'd like to say that uh, uh, joy and enjoyment is a stronger and better motivator than fear and survival. Like when people have been enough to live comfortably, 
Um, and they have extra pocket money to spend in the economy. They do crazy cool things like make art, uh, explore space, you know, spiritual exploration, all those things will be unleashed when people get a place to do Do you know about this members of the Vienna? Maybe? Okay. And he's still, so he's still on the ballot too. Just, so yeah. To be yeah. 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 Have you guys heard of the revolution of reason? Yeah? Right. All right, yeah, yeah. It's actually a lot nicer to talk about Yang now because people don't see him as a threat because he's just going to this campaign. You guys Thank you so much. Like, do we need like some sort of card to do that next time? Yeah, yeah. And also there's like the... Oh, yeah. 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 It's a process now. It's not a... Well, no, we have a campaign now. It's a social movement and a process. It comes with making it more of a think card. A think card. A think card. That's the thing too, is even with the signs, and you guys were voting. We're supposed to stay 100 feet before we could talk to voters, literally ask the voters to sign with 100 feet. Yeah, so like, so anyone else here not, talk Yen is never possessive about his ideas. But the idea of universal basic income, economists around the world have realized that we're having problems with the world. We already have the technology, the output. No, because I posted something. They were yeah, we were there. We were there. Like we were like pressing our vote. Yeah, I over volunteers. Yeah, because did you have a story? Everybody's watching. Story. Yeah, because I was I was really voting. Oh, vote automation. Our evolution is automated. Not exactly. I voted for the candidate. I voted for the candidate. So we still have the ballot. So we have the two and three. Uh, you, higher, you, yeah. even drop it out. It didn't even drop out. social yeah. 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 I told Yang, I, I shook his hand yeah, that's right. I him that way. Yeah. And, uh, I we were just uh, uh, Suspended means they're, they're not the actively room. campaigning. So, uh, yeah. Dropped out is means they will not be on the ballot. They're on the ballot. He's on the ballot. He's really only doing this because he's in the game of elevating social consciousness. He was in the startup. Um, non profit so, so, yeah. yeah. There, there are a few there are a few precincts <laughs> that we're Hey. I got I can get more sticky box. Fifty people. Sticky box, here's the cool sticky here. I love sticky No, I'm sorry. It's okay, we don't have cooties anymore. <laughs> 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 no, it's, no, it's legit. Are you uh, I'm gonna move down the network. You know our campaign is turning into a social movement. So there's a lot of you know you know Vegas Yang Yang Facebook. Oh yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll stay to Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Andrew Yang's philosophy behind Andrew Yang's. Did you know Matt? Matt? No, I actually did not know what the stand was. What do you think of that slogan? Mm -hmm. He suspended his campaign, so he's not actively campaigning for 2020. He's campaigning for 2024, and he's still on the ballot. So, uh, depending on how well he does, he can revive his campaign. Which is not really our focus now, but you know, also the higher up he gets voted, the more visible his ideas. Right, right. Uh, and that's what I'm the most excited about. People are saying economists are. Party. So it's a, it's a shift from fear energy to party and play energy. Um, and so that's that's why I'm excited that this movement is a thing and it's going to continue to be. It's actually a lot better now than not trying to just win the race because that was yeah, always going to be focused. Um, it just feels better to talk about it. 
from Joe Montana. Yeah, I was telling him, you know, that I always have to be Yeah, so in the meanwhile, he was on your list and she switched. Um, he's very really hard. Because he's still on the top. Okay. Yeah, I've narrowed it. They really want to basically a dictator. Thank you. Yeah. Democracy is not just the first thing that they want, but, you know, if it's screwing other people over, then they're fine with it. Now, well, the, the, oh, it's this goes, the, the, the now until 8 p.m. Uh, when this, this Wayne is going to be like an hour. Uh, uh, this, this idea is uh, that yeah, the idea is that the idea might come back later. It's yeah, just, come back later, and if it's still busy, uh, uh, so so as you're designing the rules of your society, what will make people stronger? There's got like just as many staff running as this one does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he suspended his campaign uh, these, so that he could focus on 2024 and you know, build a social movement. Um, yeah. Though he's still on the ballot, and the higher up he gets voted, the more uh, momentum he starts with in you know, you know, building the social movement. Like, he was never possessive. So he's like, anybody who wants to adopt universal basic income, he, he was willing to endorse. You know, the reason is that policy philosophies and economists are theorizing you know, in poverty. Yeah, yeah. Did you hear what I was saying in this video? No. So I, I think it's as a futurist and as a technologist, we are in a cusp where we're, we're able to shift from fear driven motivation, fear and survival, right, uh, to one of joy, enjoyment, and party. Uh, when people, when intelligent animals, any animal, has the safety, has uh, safety, food, and shelter, they just want to play and create. And mankind being so intelligent, like, yes. you know, scientific exploration, spiritual exploration, music, arts, that kind of good stuff. Yeah, I mean, I do think that that's the direction. Yeah, hopefully. I'm not I mean, sure how we'll get there, but right. I think we're moving in that direction. So, yeah, I told Ian, uh, because I met him at the uh, closing round. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go to the next one. 3511 East Marmon. I've heard there's like, you walk in a big It's got the same amount of staff. Yeah, yeah. So, I was there yesterday with Ron Williams. Yeah, I mean, I do agree that, you know, raising the people in the lowest countries is everybody. Literally, a quarter of a mile. Yeah, yeah. They did spread out the staff. Any very good problem. Yeah. Yeah, so go there. I was there yesterday. Most people are great. Thank you. Likewise. That's what we got to keep in the play. Yeah. I think big turnout. Yeah, I know. But I did it. 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 I did
Oh, it's well over. I mean, staffing, staffing has, you know, increased. And, yeah, I mean, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be like Isn't it ridiculous? We have all the technology. You should just be able to check the site and like, look at the wait time. Yeah. I don't need a technologist present. Like, you know what I'm you know, conspiracy game theory suspended theory. this campaign, so yeah. now it's not. Who is never possessing all the good news? So the hustle now is yeah. to get the man in the first into every American mind. So that, and this is very simple. This just means that as we define the rules of society, always ask if we're going to make people stronger, happier, and richer. And if it does, just do more of that. If it doesn't, change it. And then, and then when you do that, when you look at the economy, what do people need? Uh, and then so he came up with this idea of, well, he didn't come up with it, but he adopted the idea of universal basic income. Uh, something that economists around the world are saying about end poverty. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is the design principle behind the same for me. Did you know that I'm saying that I have to was he on the radar before? Uh, I read it, yeah, the final interview of the beats, and it's kind of stupid. It's hard for the little bit of a kind of strategy after the same pages. It's like, we have a few offices where we have a few offices where we're looking at. If you don't have a one, two, or three, the higher is more visibility he gets, the better. And uh, whoever, you know, the big guy, Democrat, is still going to make it. So it's not like a possible vote. Well, those precincts, that's enough to get us maybe the next state What's up? Was that Yeah. you got him? Levin. Levin? Joseph. Jane. Seth. Seth. Levin. So you're holding down the court? Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, we've got a couple other volunteers. Uh, you want to pull sticker? You want to pull sticker? You guys know math means make America think harder? Are you going to the rally? Uh, I don't know. Is it two or three? How's it going to work out? Is it like a lot? Do you have to have some people for the rally? Or do you just show up? I think you just show up. But again, I have no idea. I think you just show up. I know about you. Yeah. Was he on the radar before? Yeah. He's still on the ballot, so the higher you up the vote, the, the more momentum is the social media behind it. Right. And yeah, right now, I'm actually glad that it's not uh, just a tunnel vision race. Yeah. Uh, we can get back to the race of talking about the philosophies that are out here. Uh, did you know his universal basic income? That policy is predicted to end poverty around right the world. And when that happens, I'm a technologist in the future. So. Right now, uh, we get the chance to shift from fear and survival-based motivation to a joy, enjoyment, and play energy that drives human action. Like, thus far, we always had to like, worry about not starving to death, not being dominated by other people who have money. Uh, so it's all about like, competing with each other uh, because of fear. And then, so yeah, you erase that fear altogether. You do some basic impact. That will kick humanity into a different phase of the fear. So they're calling this the revolution of reason. Have you heard of that? You guys ever been a part of something crazy? <laughs> it feels like it. Get our stickers out of here.
guys get some of these cool collectibles? Oh, yeah. This is a philosophy we've been doing. Oh, 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 yeah. It's just a very simple design philosophy. I know it's tough. Yeah, it's I mean, he's really good. But I'm more kind of assuming he's going to be able to see. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. If it does, then do more of it. If it doesn't, it changes. I don't want to hear about how how she can make this country more better. Um, yeah. Yeah, this 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 country more better. I'm still pretty much on It's a reminder to all of our officials to keep humanity first as they design the rules of our government. Always ask, is this policy going to make people stronger, happier, and richer? Richer. Wealthier, right? <laughs> All the above. All the above. We want all that. And it's just about, it's a design principle, right? People are designing policy, right? And we just want them to ask that question. What's going to make the world clear? It's very strong. And that means make America think harder. You know that? Make America think harder? You want to make, you want to make America think harder with math? Who are you with? Hmm? Who are you with? Yang. Andrew Yang. Yeah. Um, is he still running? So he's, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's he not actively out. campaigning. He oh. suspended his campaign. He's campaigning for 2024. Oh. Uh, he's still on the ballot, so he could come back. Okay. Or uh, the, you know, the higher up he gets voted, the, the higher up his ideas get made. What do you have plugged into your Uh This is going to be my YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Is it, do you have a sound thing? A sound thing? Uh, uh, yes. It, well, I think it's in the yeah, it is, right? Oh, okay. I was just, or is that a battery? That's just a battery. Yeah. So, yeah. We're the only campaign where foreigners would fly in to volunteer with us. And the reason is we had a universal basic income on this platform. Something that economists and anthropologists and theorists have said would end poverty. Yeah. Once and all. When you end poverty, like, humanity is unleashed. Yeah. Yeah, I tap. Uh, Mm. You don't really have to go in, right? You just have to line up. Yeah. <laughs> There's a real strong connection to technology and a lot of yeah. things, like technology support. Mm -hmm. um, and that, and some of the money is coming out of their uh, profits, right? right. Their tax. I used to work for um, Amazon. So, the, it's just kind of like weird that I'm not against the universe, but it almost feels like. Oh, okay. yeah. That's an interesting association. I don't know. I just feel like, uh, why doesn't he have policies to maybe make sure that with all this automation happening, uh, that it slows down? That, I don't know. I don't know if there's any politician could. that, I don't think that it's has possible. a... So he's giving us just money for it. Right. Well, so it's not just money. It's, uh, it makes every American shareholder, every American a shareholder in the economy, collecting dividends. So it's actually investing you a share of the American project. But you already are a part of it. It's, just, it's kind of aligning the values. So you are a human being that live in America. You are part of the society. You, get, you should get a piece of the automatic output. Yeah. It's already coming kind of automatic. Yeah. And we're producing more and more and fewer, fewer people. And all this money, when the automated way work, it's stuff at the top, the yeah. top air. Exactly. Yeah. 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 exactly. Yeah. And then, uh, and then they use this money to grow their corporations, and it stays up there. Like, yeah. All kind of places open, less jobs, less quality jobs. So, so the UBI, University of Income. It's like a ceiling thing. Yeah, it blows, it's a systems <laughs> upgrade to the features of our economy. So, so it creates a, a circulation Yeah, the, the top. money. Because there's so no money for you because the minimum wages are going. No, I think that's the reason. Yeah. are actually yeah. helping yeah. workers. But, like, mm -hmm. so... Because Haley was... So is that... A, is, is he, like... The gap is going to happen between the mega-rich and, like, the laborers, right? 
is it, and so we have to figure is that his solution like we have to figure out a plan on how to take that money and make sure it circles back I mean it's not specifically that it's yeah. all it is is circulates money in the economy so that capitalism works so why doesn't it get circulated through raising the minimum wage I mean you could that's one way to do it it's just a lot less efficient because Minimum wage only helps people already have jobs from zero to fourteen dollars an hour, yeah. okay. and it has a lot of external factors. Like somebody, let's say somebody's making fifteen bucks right now, they already worked really hard to get there. Now all of a sudden, their entry level is just forced to have the same salary. It kind of collapses the skill set. Yeah, well, everybody should have raised their salary. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. So it should be like even those making thirty dollars should get a, a bump too. Um, if you want to raise everybody. So that's why it's like instead of at least four students talk to the money. It's circulating. not exactly Instead like of like that. from the inside, it's from the It's from the activity of the economy. Yeah. When money starts to flow to the top of the economy, um, the, every transaction is a part of something. Um, so it's, it's, it's a, you want to be able to extract a little bit of every Amazon sale, every Google search. All these high-tech new type of financial and economic transactions, our current tax scheme doesn't, you know, cannot extract value out of that. So the idea of the value added tax, new developments in our economy, because it's about the technological developments in our economy. So that's why Yang calls it tech is the oil of the 21st century. Uh, are you familiar with like oil-rich nations? Alaska, um, they have a lot of oil, they give a dividend to their citizens. It's only Saudi, Saudi Arabia and oil rich nations. America is rich in technology. And technology behaves kind of like oil because it allows us to generate automatic value without human uh, labor. Yeah, so it's great. Yeah. So it's almost well, like it behaves like a natural resource. Almost. Yeah. So we should get money. I did read that. Myself, I don't know. I, I like style. You don't have much time to decide. You don't have much time to decide. Yeah, I, I'm a Californian, so I mark it too much. I'm traveling to Bali too. Yeah, I was in Bali. I was in Iowa. I was in Iowa. This is as far as you got. Yes. So was Yang on the radar before? He was, yeah. Uh -huh. No problem. Okay. Yeah. So he's still on the ballot, and so you can still vote for him. And if you do, it will just help propel his message as well. Yes. So if you don't have a two and three, it'll help. You have to choose at least three people. So if you don't have a two and three slot, you know, you just obviously vote with your heart. decision in your life to be aware of the humanity in yourself and everybody else. And in government too. This is to remind whoever is designing policies, and engineering the policies that will govern society, ask themselves what's going to make people happier, stronger, and richer. If it does that, then do more of that, and it doesn't just change. There's no need to be ideological or gang gang. Just be like an engineer with wanting to solve any of these problems. And that's what Andrew Yang is all about. Yeah, no, yeah, my brother was like, can I have another one so I yeah. can give to him? Are you sure you're going to give you a few if you have a lot of people here? Um, just, I'll just get take two. Okay. So I can give that to him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But they're going to give you the... Yeah, so he's still on the ballot and he was in your house. The uh, vote your heart. <laughs> and the Secretary of State, you're going to be given... The, heart, the more votes he gets, the more... More spotlight his ideas. Yeah. Yeah. And we're hoping to pass something like a universal basic income, which will eliminate poverty, give everybody a boost, um, unleash a lot of 
play and, and creativity and arts. Yeah, no, definitely, yeah. He, he, ran, he, he, was, he was doing a great job. It just sucked when I heard that he thought about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, don't fear, because the, the social media is very, very much alive and will continue. And here's IM 2024. Um, so there's really fun things happening. Like, there's a whole network of people, a whole network, social network growing out of this community. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, do you guys want to be looped in on that network? We, you know, this is my YouTube channel. Uh, are you guys okay with it? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. fine. Yeah, so I can, if I grab one of your random members, I can send you the link to the video. Oh, sure. Also information about, like, what we have planned coming up. Um, yeah, my name is Victoria. Uh, okay. Yeah, please. Testing your videos, actually. Yeah. <laughs> There's a whole movement called the Income, which is to give her $200,000 a year. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll send you the link to the video. Okay, cool. Thank you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Levin. Levin? Levin. Levin. Yep, have fun. Would you like to meet your students? This is Andrew Yang's event, so you know that means Make America Think Harder? Yes. They made me think harder. Yeah, man. It's working. Yeah. You know? <coughs> he's, in, he's been in the game of raising social consciousness. And you do that by making people think harder about things we used to take for granted. Yeah. Was he on your radar before? Um, yeah, actually he was. Cool. Yeah, it was, it was him yeah. All right. So, yeah. so Yang is still on the ballot, so if you put... You know, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, it will we'll help get his message up. Uh, there's also a chance he might revive this campaign, but it's more about 2024 and more about spreading the social yeah. awareness. Yeah, I think himself. No. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And the main thing right now is like universal basic income. Is, uh, it's the thing that has the world watching. The economists around the world say that now we're in poverty in this world. So we're the only campaign where we have Europeans flying, foreigners flying overseas to help campaign volunteers. Uh, so hopefully, you know. So yeah, that's what we want. Like, if Bernie has talked about UBI before, so yeah. we just keep wanting to, to implement it, put the idea out there, and, and I think Bernie. Yang would be the best guy to get it through because he has started the conversation. But well, anybody who picks it up, like, Yang's not possessive. Uh, I, I like that. It's like you get it. Like, he's speaking about it. Um, this guy's really smart. Yeah. When it comes to that, he can figure out a lot of issues and solve problems with math. Right. Whatever, whatever, just to you know, help us uh, keep surviving, and for our generations that yeah. come to keep you know, striving. And whatever, whoever does it, man, I'm with it. Whoever, like, like it says on the stick, yeah, yeah, that's what matters. Not businesses. Yeah, I, I got to meet Yang the other day because we had a closing rally, and I told him that we would put humanity first, the idea of humanity first, into every American mind, so that he would just walk in next time. Or he doesn't even need to be present. Yeah. This idea is just like anything you do, just be aware of the humanity of yourself and everybody else. I agree. And in government, what that looks like is as, you, as people are designing policy, they just continue to ask themselves what's going to make people stronger and they're richer. Designing policies for that purpose. I agree, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah.
like aware of the people that are making the difference there. Like if you give them a thousand dollars a month, that gives them a boost so that they can do more of that. And it gives it values them intrinsically because they are the philosophy of the we have a technology. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and they like blocked it off. They were like, they were pulling the cords in. I was like, I can't do this. Cool. So I yeah. fucked it up. Yeah, yeah. I, well, because if you were practicing with the kids, yeah. yeah. I did it, I did it twice. Okay. But I was yeah. just a little yeah. too When I first knew this, I was oh, eight. I was just like, I'm sorry. I didn't hit you. Okay. That's true. I was just like, isn't it like you get like a little bit of 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 a little bit
and forth of Peter State's Principles course, um, mainly just because I, I really love the and I heard, like, I've heard that, that I was kind of too afraid to try it on my own. So, you know, I feel like it's a good one, but um, once I actually introduced myself to it, I realized that I'm actually not really too dumb for it, and uh, I don't know, one thing just led to the other, and I decided that I'm going to get more time. I'm not 100 sure that that's what I'm going No, I'm, I'm full Venezuelan, um, so I'm actually over international business, um, really making part of international business, looking at other countries and things like that, so it reminds me that there's so many better methods of Excuse me. managing economy, managing like, populations, things like that, like universal health care that should already be a thing that we have, things yeah. like that, you know, the concept of like a universal or like at least a countrywide um, income. Um, I've been seeing so many reports like Finland, things like that, where they've attempted it, they are continuing to implement it, but every method that they've tried has led to success and has led to more funding for like individual businesses and more. Do you even study? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and it's like a lot more like clients have done, like individual businesses, a lot more like uh, self funded like arts programs. Uh -huh. uh, I know. Like, it when they did the whole like, universal income thing. Yeah. Uh, just because, like, if you're no longer worrying about having your two to three jobs just to feed your family, you can live a lot longer time. Mm -hmm. You can actually live. You can actually live. Yeah. Yeah. The, concept, the, the entire concept of living to work instead of working to live. Like, yeah. And one of those ads is that it's like generations and generations of the future. It also gives you a longer time horizon. So it's like the realization that, um, what was it, it was over 70 to 80 percent of all Americans are two missed paychecks of labor and wealth poverty. Yeah. yeah. Just because it's it's so close. Or one really bad health expense. Yeah. yeah. One really yeah. bad health uh -huh. expense. There was a, what's her name? She was like a huge, she was a famous, like, a, she did like the violin for like the national like orchestra here in like, the United yeah. States. And she went viral. Yeah. She, yeah. she broke her arm. And could not afford the health care expense because she lived in New York. She didn't have health care at the time. And the, it was like over like three hundred thousand dollars, four hundred thousand dollars. It was like everything that added up. And she went from being like the most of pursued like violinist to being homeless. Just because of her right. breaking her arm. Because then when she went homeless, someone stole her hundred thousand dollar violin. And she couldn't, she, yeah. she couldn't afford to get it back. She yeah. lost everything in like a split second. And did she tell the story later? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did she... well, I don't know what she's doing now. I hope she's doing better now because like the words been going on around her. But it's like, it's such a tragedy. Yeah. Like, it's like, like, that. like it's not even like people who are already close to poverty. She was doing poverty. Yeah. 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 It's almost like they think that. Oh, yeah, my dad. Yeah. Or the fact that like we have to crowdfund just to like mm -hmm. save ourselves yeah. in the hospital. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 That's the thing, the crowdfunding, it's, 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 there's power in that, but it has to be. Like now that game is still out in 2020, like it's suspended 2020. I mean, we're still trying to get in, there's still a chance to re revive this campaign. He gets a crazy surge here. Um, and also, his ideas need to be picked up to the next person, whoever gets in. Um, I guess. I'm talking about like practical, like, both now type of thing. The big picture is we're going to do this at the grassroots level because Yang Gang is, is turning into the humanity first movement. Um, so I have projects in my mind like helping people. There's this a, a social phenomenon where you have a group of friends who grew up together. A couple of them make it really big. The rest of them stay in poverty. So there's a lot of relationships in social circles where you have rich ass friends who don't know how to optimize their wealth. And, and it's, um, it's an odd, odd social dynamic where I was in a position of you know, giving freedom dividends to some of my friends who are being poverty. And there's so much awkwardness in that where you really connect and talk about it that I have no idea how much poverty is like, constricting my friends. Because people in poverty, they have shame about it. They don't, they don't ask for yeah. it. Um, and it's awkward when they do ask for it. Um, 
Yeah. 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 And so, so you, you invite them out. They just say, oh, I can't get out of here. I'm tired. But really, they're just broke. They can't get out. They can't get out. Um, and then they can't do their art because they can't afford the camera for their photography. So I've been helping people out. And then, like, so I had to get over the whole stigma of giving people money. But when you just kind of um, feel into it, you realize, like, this is the best thing I can do for my personal life is when my close friends are wealthy. That's the best thing I can do for me. Um, and I, my, my project on the grassroots level is to like, document the social awkwardness around it and how to face it so that to encourage other rich friends to yeah. sponsor. To help. To help yeah, yeah, to help. I know if I was rich, the first thing I always tell myself is I'm just going to pay for everyone's like, student loans. I refuse to let my friends just suffer with those like 100k loans. Like, uh -huh. it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So that's, yeah, and, and to, to, to create, you know, like the, the fucking ice bucket challenge. Yeah. To, like, yeah. bail out your friends challenge or something like that. My rich friend brought me, bought me a churro at Disneyland. Wow, that's all right. That's all, you're already <laughs> living the highlight. I know, her but, generosity. Wow. And the thing is, like, people don't know that it's okay. It's so awkward. Like, Am I, if, if I want to pay for my friend's dinner, does that mean I'm patronizing him? Does that mean I'm consulting his own ability to pay for his own dinner? Right. But really, just so it's the easier than I do. Right. So kind of like the mix of like American culture, where it's like, we're so like, it's kind of like, it kind of goes into the idea like, oh, by the time you're 18, you should not be looking at your parents. You know, you should be out having your job that pays for your rent, and you should be going to school despite having to take out loans that are 30000 every semester. You should be able to afford to do certain things or live a certain life, and it's like, when you don't do that, but that's all you see within the like, culture that you live in, mm -hmm. it becomes more and more shameful to admit that, like, oh, maybe you are struggling. Right. And it's, there's, there's also the idea that if you're going to do that, yeah. Right. So that's where it's all about yeah. think harder. Think yeah. harder. Yeah. Is that true? Is yeah. that true? How does it actually feel? Yeah. What is actually happening? The rise of like grind culture. It's like, oh, I rise and grind. Rise and grind. I don't work my nine to five. I work twenty four seven. And it's like you need to sleep. Like great, you're miserable. Yeah. Like, like there has to be like other friends, you know. Have you guys been best friends since you were younger? But I technically like raise the is it here? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Not high school. No, not high school. Not into the water. Super good meeting you two. Uh, <laughs> Valerie. Valerie. Nice to meet you. Isabella, nice to meet you. Love it. Love it. I'll, I'll really talk to you. Alright, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of people don't know the future. Yep. I'm over here. You guys are familiar with Yang and what he was sued for? Yeah. 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 Do you know Matt wants to make America think harder? Yeah, I didn't know that until I heard you tell us. Cool. Yeah. So he's still on there. And uh, you know, if you vote for him on one of your top threes, it will help punch his message up higher into the world. Nice. So he suspended it. So it just means he's focusing his campaigning on 2024. Um, because we don't, frankly, we don't expect to win the nomination, so it's like, we just focus on the future and keep spreading the message grassroots wise. Because um, this rat race was kind of draining on all of our attention. And, but if you do vote for him, it'll help punch the uh, movement into the spotlight. I didn't know you could vote. Uh, so there's like first choice, second choice, third choice, right. ballot, right? Okay. I didn't yeah. know he was still on the ballot. Yep, you can still put it first. All that will happen is. Um, it'll raise his awareness and the spotlight for every you know, first place he gets. There's going to be a lot of attention. Ooh, somebody who's suspended his campaign is still getting votes. It just helps the spotlight. And then your second choice. And then Yang's not going to be actually viable in terms of the caucus rules. So your second choice is still going to be your vote, most likely. Okay. Yep. You know Yang? Yang, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Yang is, uh, he's still on the ballot. And he is. Well, he suspended his campaign, uh -huh. uh, which means he's focusing on the next 2024. Okay. Uh, so but he's still on the ballot, and the more votes he gets, the more momentum he has around you know, his messaging. His ideas is, is the most important thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like people are saying that this is the unconditional basic income is the reason why 
gang had volunteers from Europe fly over here because every, the whole world's watching. Like, as an American, why would you fly to a different country to volunteer for politics? You have some people in Europe looking at you, bringing out like these ideas, these <coughs> things that, have, that haven't been discussed before. Yeah. Like automation, you be a that, those are just so oh, human centered capitalism. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like, if I do vote for him, like, I don't know how the ballot should think about it. So mm -hmm. like, if I vote for him, I'm not able to vote for him. So you get three choices, yeah. first, second, and third. Actually, you, you can put five, but you need to choose three. Okay. Um, what you could do is put Yang, 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 or <laughs> Yang, Uncommitted, Uncommitted, or Yang, whoever, or actually whoever, whoever, whoever. Um, and all it will do, do is, if your first choice is not viable, then you will vote to go to the second choice. Okay. So what that means is, if you put Yang first, most likely you won't be viable. We're only, we're not you know, delusional. You know, He's going to suffer. Yeah. Right. But uh, it'll help raise awareness of what he has and his ideas. And then, because once he won't be viable, then your second choice will be. Uh, okay. Okay, I like that. I'll be sure. I really want Become more public, become more extra. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. I don't know. Can I get a cigarette? Do you want a cigarette? Do you know Andrew? He's still on the ballot. He's mm hoping -hmm. his ideas will get the ballot for the right to tell the poll. It's all about unconditional basic income, ending poverty, and putting humanity first in the design decisions you make in government. Math means make America think harder. Yeah, this is a philosophy. Many first is a philosophy behind Yang's movement. It's a simple one. It just means as you're engineering the rules of government, always ask what's going to make people happier, stronger, and richer. If your policy does that, then do more of it. If it doesn't, just change it up. Didn't drop out. So he suspended his campaign. So meaning he's focusing on 2024. But he's still on the ballot. And the higher up he gets voted, the more momentum is behind the movement and the ideas. We want anybody up there, including whether it be Bernie or Biden, to adopt any, something like universal basic income. It's something that will end poverty. <coughs> yeah. So it's, it's, Yang's campaign is not about beating other candidates now, it's just a social movement. It's like it's um, did you know math means to make America think public? Yang's been in the game of elevating the American consciousness for all his career. Did you know he worked at a non nonprofit startup accelerator? Yeah, he's trying to fight the brain drain at one of the top schools, the great centers of Wall Street and Silicon Valley. And instead, pushing young minds to start businesses in the Midwest. Uh, did y'all get some? Yeah, okay. Um, oh, you got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. It's not about winning right now. 
Okay. It's about building the, the social network around this me. principle. Of, this just means that whoever is designing our government, as they engineer the rules of policy, always ask, is it going to benefit people? Is it going to make people stronger, happier, and richer? If it does, then do more of it. If it doesn't, do something else. Uh, the philosophy behind Andrew Yang's movement is to put humanity first in the decisions of government. Yeah, so it, it means like whoever's up there engineering the rules of our government, uh, they have to ask themselves what's going to make people happier, richer, stronger. Right. So it's instead of just thinking, about, thinking about the corporations and the rich, think about all people. Okay. 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 Ok
certain social programs. Programs that have a means tested dynamic. And I might I don't know, it's pretty cool. It's like LA without, without the arrogance. <laughs> Maybe I get it. It's just super creative. Uh, you find it? Yeah. Uh, I enjoy the vibe. Uh, oh, she's the I mean, I've been here busy as a tourist, but that's so yeah. different. But I mean, with the company. Cool. Yeah. Well, this is the first time I've experienced local things, like art situations. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. And your name? Levish. Would you like to keep in touch with the Revolution of Reason? Yeah. I'm also. I'm also creating a YouTube video. So, yeah. Yeah. Should you check? Uh, I'm creating. Are you okay with being on YouTube? That's the design principle behind Andrew Yang's campaign. It simply states that as you design the government, you should ask what's going to make people happier, stronger, and richer. And just design around that. Put humanity first. Thanks, man. You know you saw in the gallery and you can still open yeah. <laughs> so, you know, what would happen is you probably won't be viable, so your second choice would be a vote anyway, but it's just send a strong message. Okay. And you know that it's kind of being presidential. Uh, would you like a second? I actually have one on my water bottle. You have one of these? Yeah. Did you know math means make America think hard? No. I'll take the It's a reminder to anybody who's in office just to design around putting humanity first. I always ask what's going to make people happier, stronger, and richer. And design policy to make that happen. Is your copyright in the battle address? Yeah, I got okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Suspended. Suspended. Oh, sorry. He's cool. still on the ballot. You can still vote for him here. Bless, bless. I'll give these to my um, little yeah, brother-in-law because he's a huge fan. Yeah, thanks, man. Y'all are excellent. Oh my god, a button? Wow, yes. we have to pay for those. Yeah. Yes. We have the coolest merch table. Is there a lot of people outside at the table? Uh, right now, the you know the Bernie rally starting to come. We've been here a while, bro. <laughs> So they're moving them out. How much? Sorry? Yeah. This is Because uh, yeah. I would think of that guy not like to be a sign. No, but like a sign. It's 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 He's I'm 2024. So he's still on the ballot. So we vote him. It just tells his message for the um, The comments around will say that his, his policy of universal basic income is unpopular. Yeah, I've heard of universal basic income. I haven't heard it like explicitly associated with this. I mean, like, I was really. Uh-huh. Where, here? Yeah, here. Yeah. I'm going to vote for Bernie, but, yeah. but, um, well, it's actually easier to talk to two people now because yeah. he's not so direct to people. He yeah. just wanted that idea to stick. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, I, think I would love it when he did. He talked about it. Yeah, I am. It's because the economists, economists around the world have theorized basic income is yeah. poverty. Oh, and if you think Gosh, about, so I like to think like she does like, like spiritual like, evolution. Like, 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 you know, like, 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 Basic income would take away <laughs> and give people like, safety uh, and abundance of food and shelter. Yeah, I don't know. Now, what do you, any I intelligent animal, I had, like, some what, what, what happens to them when they have an abundance of food, so safety, like, and shelter? So I just skip my presentation. Yeah. Is that extra? Yeah. 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 I mean, we are already doing things like space exploration. Yeah. In the arts. When you're not just concerned with being on the vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Hi, cool question. Does it make people happier, healthier, richer? If it does, then do it. If it 
doesn't and change. It's just humanity first. Thank you, man. Did you know math means you can make a thing better? No, I didn't. I didn't actually know that. Yeah. Yeah, he's on the ballot, so you can okay. still vote for him if you okay. like his ideas. Uh, you to get a policy to end poverty. He's got yeah. 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 uh, so so We're encouraging people to vote him first because uh, I if you vote him first, it'll send a strong speech. Oh. The second vote yes. will count because he's going to be viable. Uh, his rules are uh. and your second choice are the most ideas. Yeah. 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 Okay. End up being your vote. Okay. okay. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just take one. Let's take one. Ooh. Okay, sorry. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. Yeah, thank you. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is the philosophy behind Andrew Yang's movement. Right. This simply means as you're engineering the rules of government, I always ask, is it gonna be is this gonna make people happier, healthier, and stronger, and richer? Does, and do more of it, it doesn't, and you change it. Right. Yeah, that's pretty much right. And did you know Matt means make America think harder? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> still on the ballot, so the more you vote him up, the higher like, his ideas get seen by others. Okay. He was never possessive about his ideas. You know, Bernie or Sanders or anything. But Sanders or Biden and anybody else picks up universal basic income, that's a good thing for humanity. Can we wait? Uh, you know, means make America think harder? Sorry? You know, means make America think harder? Make them think harder. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> so, reminder to whoever makes it into office to put humanity first, always ask themselves is this policy going to make people healthier, stronger, richer? If it does, if you do it, it doesn't do something else. Is Andrew Yang, the philosophy behind Andrew Yang's campaign. And it's also a reminder to whoever is in charge, whoever you know ends up being elected, to put humanity first when they design the policies that they propose. <clears throat> so uh, he's still on the ballot, so you can vote for him and just get the his messages up. He suspended it, his campaign, which means he's focusing on 2024 and the social movement that's about ending poverty. So it's not really about winning the race, which is like pretty narrowly focused for us. Um, we're trying to solve poverty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you know math means making a working party? competing in the race anymore, but we want, we would love Bernie to adopt a basic income as well. Because the economists around the world say that that's the best way to end poverty around the world. And the humanity first key place is just to, you know, as you, as uh, legislators design policy, we want them to ask, is this going to make people happier, stronger, and richer? Uh, putting humans first rather than, like, uh, corporations or some other special interests. Do you not mean to make America think harder? <laughs> this is a philosophy behind Andrew Yang's movement. Andrew Yang? Yeah. Did you know math means make America think harder? I did. There you go. Mm. How's the air outside? This is the philosophy behind Andrew Yang's campaign. Uh, and now that he's suspended his campaign, we're trying to still get the message out there because this is a reminder to whoever is in, in the office to put humanity first as they design the rules of our country. Always ask, is this policy going to make people happier, stronger, or richer?
social movement toward poverty. And also, like, humanity first is not just about government, it's about like, each one of us. Like, you get presence of your humanity and the humanity of your friends and family and the local community. Because um, we want decisions in government to, to be designed around putting humanity first, and then also, like, in the grassroots, everything that each one of us does in our lives, uh, if, we're done, if it was done with awareness of everybody's humanity, uh, we'll have a much better time. Still on the ballot, so he can go for it. He can go for it. It just means his ideas get elevated in the spotlight. And, yeah, we want others like Bernie or Biden or anybody else to pick up his ideas. Uh, A reminder to anybody in power that as they design the rules of the government, that put humanity first. Do you know about uh, Yang and the Mad to make America think harder? Yeah, so he's still on the ballot, so he's going to and the more votes he gets, the higher up. He's focusing on 2024. And so he hasn't dropped that, he's suspended. He wouldn't have spent it. Creativity, joy, enjoyment. A lot of people think like you don't give people free money, you will motivate them. So it's more about the social movement than about winning the race anyway. Yeah. We want to eradicate poverty. The best way to do it is the universal Okay, sounds good. So we're still on the ballot. If you vote him as your first, what will happen is he'll get a lot of attention in the media. Uh, he won't be viable in terms of the caucus count, so your second choice will become your vote anyway. So we're encouraging people to put him at top. There's a lot of people out of top. So what are you doing? He's looking for you. Just go to your heart. This is the main thing. All right. And he's still on the ballot. Is there one? Sounds good, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Because we have one. What's up, brother? You guys are shouting. Cool. Okay. So we get down. You're hitting like 200 yens per hour here? You're hitting the 200 yens per hour out here? Um, I'm having long conversations. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long the conversation is. If they're here, they're going to be Yeah. Yeah. It's just I get tired. <laughs> I'm just hanging out with you because you're somewhat talking. I'll be out here. You tell them there's maybe a yeah, I mean, I'm down with go to like collapse. This is just going to be no. So just think of this is Andrew Yang's. The philosophy of Yang's design is the same thing. And it's a very simple one. It just means as people who can hear the rules of our government, they always ask if it's going to make people happier, stronger, richer. If it doesn't do it, if it doesn't, don't do something else. Change it. Don't need to be flaming, just... Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. This is the philosophy behind Andrew Yang's campaign. 
This is a reminder to whoever is in the office to put humanity first as they design the rules of our economy and our society. Did you know math means make America think harder? Don't give that to us in the past. Did you know math means make America think harder? This is Andrew Yang. He suspended his campaign for trying to keep his messaging. And because he's not possessive about his ideas, he had an idea called universal basic income, which will eliminate poverty around the world and evolve mankind past survival and fear and survival and move us into joy, joy and creativity. Mm -hmm. I get the yank. I get the yank. Hey. Stickers, that's what I thought. Yeah. Sure. You know, math means make America think harder. Make America think harder? Yeah, that's math. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's suspended his campaign, but he's still on the ballot, so if your heart, you know, I recommend people to vote with their heart. And um, you know, his ideas, he's not possessive about his ideas. He had the idea of basic, universal basic income which theorists around the world have said will end poverty once and for all. So we're hoping to raise this awareness and make it up, and it up, and this is something that's necessary for the evolution of mankind and all the technology, the automated way it works, so it only really makes sense to pay our dividends on the automatic output of our economy. And poverty. And it also shifts mankind into away from a fear and survival motivators into joy. Like when you have abundance, when you have your basic needs met, you have time for joy, enjoyment, and creativity. win the race, we just want everybody to have humanity first in their minds. I don't have a first place. Okay. Right now it's disturbing that, that there's it's like an eight and many than a sprint. Right. <laughs> I mean there's an ad sass there yeah. between all of them. So I mean I just I like him. I think he's fantastic. He's 
got some uh, imaginative ideas yeah. during the debates of the, uh, the rest of the uh, contestants or whatever. They don't have a clue about what he's talking about. He's just... He's, he's above. He's down. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I wish guys like him I don't, I don't well, like that's what we're trying to do, raise awareness. If you vote for Yang Mao, it just means his profile gets raised, his ideas get raised. Um, he's not possessive about his ideas. We would love for Bernie, um, Biden, Warren to pick up universal basic income. We just want to end poverty and unleash human creativity and, and potential. We have like, we're going to lose 50 million jobs in the next 10 to 15 years from automation. Don't tell Trump that. He won't understand why. Right. He's immoral. You need somebody who understands technology and knows how to harness technology to give wealth to people. I think the, the good up. thing about him is uh, he, he's young enough that he'll be around. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's why four, we're four keeping this movement now. going. Yeah. He's redirecting energy to 2024. Uh, and the Yang Gang has moved into a social movement. Uh, it's, it's humanity first. I'll be there for him in four years, but right now, I I don't want uh, a certain candidate yeah. march onward. Well, I would say just vote, vote your heart. Yeah. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Dragon? Oh. Hey, what's up, guys? You know Yang's still on the ballot? Yeah. yeah. It's a continuous process. It's, he's been in a game of raising national awareness, na American consciousness. Yeah, he's been, you know he's been in a game of raising American consciousness. It's what making America think harder is all about. For his 10-year career, he worked in non-profit startup accelerator. Yeah, so if people vote for him today, um, that'll bring more attention to his ideas. He's not possessive about his ideas. Anybody who adopts universal basic income is going to be a win for the Because uh, that's the policy that would end poverty in the United States and unleash a lot of creativity, entrepreneurship. Um, just like, you know the, hi the mass laws hierarchy of needs? Have you guys heard that? Yeah. At the bottom is your basic needs. And a lot, right now, a lot of Americans can't meet their basic needs. So, yeah, if we can satisfy that, then everybody can be freed up to do things like you know, spiritual exploration, space exploration, scientific exploration, the arts, uh, you know, working about thinking through ethics, thinking through spirituality, all that stuff. You can't get to when you're trying to meet the next one's right and meet. consciousness for a long time and he, he has suspended his campaigning um, and he's redirecting his energy to 2024 but he's still on the ballot and you can still vote for him and if you do it just means his ideas get pushed into the top. Yeah, he's never possessive or power hungry. He says anybody who wants to live on poverty is down to live give up his ideas and have them in it. Yeah, it's worth it. Right, and even if he doesn't, I, you know, he's so focused on solving the problems, it doesn't matter from which direction. So he's already started this huge social movement from the grassroots up, an awareness that we can solve poverty. And, and just once people get that into their minds, there's a limiting belief we have that we don't have enough to go around, but that's not true. Right? Yeah, we have so much technology. You know, Yang is an author and a visionary. He wrote two books about how technology evolves humanity. The 
first chapter is that we can start living to the Star Trek type of future. Uh, we don't do anything with society to a bad guy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, well, it's kind of like engine government is a, is a novel design. To vote? You design the incentives like in the system that people can hear reporting. Um, Yang doesn't like to place blame. Uh, blame is a little bit of a distraction. We just want to fix problems. So whether that be Bernie, Biden, or whoever is in, we would like them to adopt universal basic income because that's the best way to end poverty once and for all. Economists and philosophers have theorized there will be a day when we can issue human beings a, a unconditional automatic income based on the output of our automating economy. And that time is now, because we have the technology to do it. Are you right? part of the Yang? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, so the Yang game. I love the yeah. I love, you know, I mean, I'm a Bernie, but mm -hmm. uh, I, I, he's my second Yeah, if you have your space in the two and three, he's still on the ballot. Every vote will help propel his message to the top. And, you know, we don't, oh, Yang doesn't, Yang is not possessive about it, he's not power I know, I love and, his just chill sort of attitude about it. He's solely down to collaborate in anybody's cabinet as a VP. Uh, also to have somebody else adopt I'm his ideas. I said that to him. That would really help his run. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, welcome. Nice and cool speakers. This is the philosophy behind Andrew Yang's campaign. It means, uh, as you design the rules of government, always ask, is it going to make human beings happier, stronger, and richer? Math means make America think harder. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, man. Can you hear some of these? Sure. means make America think harder, so Yang's still on the ballot. If you put him as your two or three, it'll help propel the end of poverty message uh, up the top. I like his policies. I think he wrote a very good, very good I'm sorry that he's not down. Yeah. Down there. Oh, right. Would you like some cool stickers? Oh, yeah. It's a design philosophy behind Yang's campaign. We're hoping that Bernie will pick up the philosophy. Yeah. It just means as you design policy, always ask, is this going to make people stronger, happier, and richer? No map means make America think harder. Yeah. So Yang's still on the ballot, if you put in that CO3, it'll help propel the message of the um, raising awareness to end the poverty, universal basic income, and taking care of the world. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, mm -hmm. It's a reminder to any official who might get elected that as they design their policy, they should ask, is it going to benefit human beings? Is it going to make people uh, happier, stronger, and richer? I'm talking about the most that, important thing. Math. Yeah. Yeah. math means make America think harder. Thank you. So if you have space in your, 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 your whoever you're voting for, getting still on the ballot. Yeah, I'm for sure. I've been thinking of it. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Absolutely. Right. It's a design philosophy behind Andrew Yang's campaign. Now that he's suspended his, his campaign, it's about spreading that awareness and making sure that somebody else, whoever does get elected, takes up these ideas. Do you think just like you Universal basic income has been theorized by anthropologists, philosophers. Parts of Yeah, parts of Canada, Stockton, California, European states here. The math needs to make America think harder. <laughs> so Yang's still on the ballot. If you like any of his policies, the more uh, exposure he gets. Nice. Math is good. Math means make America think harder. It's Andrew Yang's uh, campaign slogan along with humanity first. He's still on the ballot if you like his ideas of your universal basic income. You know, economists have theorized that would end poverty once and for all in the technological age. So, Yang himself is not possessive about his ideas. He wants you know, anybody who picks up universal basic income will get a pat on the back from Yang. You know math means make America think harder? Good. Yeah. We need it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
as a conservative. Like, I feel like we're getting there. This is Andrew Yang's presidential uh, campaign's philosophy. And uh, all it is is, as you design the rule of the government, I always ask, what's going to make people stronger, happier, richer? You do that. And anything else, adjust it. And that means make America think harder. Cool. Yeah. So the guy's still on the ballot. If you vote for him, it'll just help propel his message up. So if you have room in your top three, fly him in there. Okay, cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Did you have a few? Some yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. He would help anybody because he's got a cross party of Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Uh, math means make America think harder. I'm trying really hard. No. Okay. You have no idea how hard I'm trying right now. Um, yes, so he's still on the ballot. If you vote for him, it just helps propel his message up because he's not possessive about his ideas. Oh, I got, I got one too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're, just, we're looking to end poverty with universal basic income. Economists have been theorizing that it would at a time where technology is automating the way it works. Yeah. Howdy. Hey, how you doing? You know, I'm alive somehow, and that's Good. pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll take it. Yeah. So, you know, universal basic income. Can you with the square ones? Yeah, this is uh, Make America Think Harder, is Matt. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I, I like that. That's a nice... Yeah. So if you have room in your top three, uh, it'll help, even though he's uh, suspended his what campaign. Can it yeah. still helps him uh, lift the, his messages up to whoever gets elected. But what if you're a really smart person, but also have a learning disability specialized in mathematics? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we have a we have a, a spot in society for you. Okay. Yeah. Dang right. Well. Yeah. I mean, Yang's uh, Yang has a son who is autistic, and he's Aww. like he's like uh, the atypical is the new normal. That's um, true. We have society that has enough abundance to take care of everybody, no matter what your needs are. Um, and it's, you know, we have so much technology, we can start living into a Star Trek type of utopia. But if we don't do anything, we're actually trending towards Mad Max, where Resources and power gets concentrated into corporate hands. So, yeah, but with universal basic income, that's how we turn that around. Right. We empower people. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, you have a good one, sir. You too. Like your outfit. Yeah. Are you gonna be over there, like oh, yeah. where the music kicks up? I was hoping they'd play more like upbeat stuff. Yeah, we're yeah, sure. just doing it. Just the music stops. Starts. You know, math means make America think harder. Thanks for waiting. Hell yeah. I, have, I actually don't know. I brought my own boombox. I like playing actually. Yeah, that was that's Andrew Yang's. Uh, yeah, yeah, I actually have one. Got it at first Friday. Mm. So the yeah. Too. Yeah. So yeah, we're trying to. So humanity can then finally transition from fear and survival to joy, enjoyment, and creativity. Thank you. Thank you. Make America think about it. Yep. I thought he was out. He's still on the ballot, so if you had him on your top three, you can still vote for him. It'll help propel his message up. Now, he doesn't care that he'd be possessed by him if he wants to solve poverty, whether that be Bernie, Biden, or Warren just to adopt basic income. It's okay. All right. Math means make America think harder. <laughs> Uh, community, and that's super important, and the immigration.
know, Matt needs to make a as being part of it. Uh, so we're have uh, and redefining them. Those jobs. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we'll check out. And then briefly, I know you guys get my gun. What are some of your most important issues? Where do you see your guns? It's hard to be like, you guys know about Andrew Yang and uh, unconditional basic income? So, the policy of giving $1,000 a month to every American citizen, funded by the gains we made in automation technology, is theorized by the economists around the world to solve poverty. This is the design philosophy behind Andrew Yang's campaign. Math means make America think harder. So he wanted to give every American a thousand dollars a month, so he wanted to think about creating a wage. People are now calling it universal basic income. Economists have theorized that this will end poverty once and for all. We take human beings from a survival and fear based uh, motivation into a joy, enjoyment, and creativity type of economy. Imagine if you were receiving $1,000 a month, guaranteed making you a shareholder of the economy. So even as we automate away jobs, the people are getting paid. They can participate in the economy, they meet their basic needs. That's what it's all about. You guys heard of that before? That idea? Okay. Yeah. You know Elon Musk endorsed Andrew Yang? Yeah, Dave Chappelle also, Childish Gambino, three of America's best of best. Those three have never cared enough to come down to comment on politics, but they all endorse Andrew Yang. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's Take a sticker? Sure. Thank you. This is the uh, philosophy behind Andrew Yang. Oh, yes. Thank you. Let's make a part of it. Yang's still on the ballot, so if you like oh, the idea is? of ending oh, poverty yeah, with yeah, yeah, universal yeah. basic income, he's still on the ballot, and any vote he gets will help propel that message to the top. He's not possessive about his ideas, so we would love for Bernie, uh, Biden, Warren, anybody to pick up basic income. Because yeah. that's the way to solve poverty once and for all. I love that. I don't think he's on the ballot. Yeah, yeah whatever reason. Yeah. And you know, it's not about yeah. winning the yeah. ballot now, it's about starting to show Yeah, putting the idea in Exactly. I told you exactly that. I said, I'm going to help put humanity first into every corner of the American psyche so that he can just walk in next yeah, round. Yeah, uh, and he might not even need to be present. He doesn't actually want to do that. He's doing that because he feels like he has to. Right. Yeah. If not, we'll yeah. Thank you. Peace. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Math means make America think harder if you didn't know. So Yang's still on the ballot. If he was on your top three, any vote for him will still help him to get his message to the top. Now, anybody who, to adopt basic income is a good thing. Eradicating poverty is not a partisan idea. We're hoping any, uh, if Bernie makes it, if Warren makes it, if Biden makes it, they consider that. It's my second choice. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, still write him in then. Yeah. Yep. He'll be on the ballot, so. Now he's make America think harder. Yep. The other slogan is Yeah, this is just a reminder to anybody who does take the presidency that as they design any uh, if you engineer any rule into the economy, into the law, that um, you always ask yourself, is this going to make people happier, stronger, richer? If it doesn't, then adjust and do another thing. Yeah, you just 
got a great message. Yeah. What do you think of universal basic income? A thousand bucks a month, making everybody a shareholder of the economy. Yeah. It's got a, it's got its uh, merits, right? Yeah. Philosophers and anthropologists have been predicting that something like this will end poverty once in a while, especially when you're in an age where work has been automated by technology. We have automatic output, that output should be distributed to people so that nobody has to struggle for survival. It's going to take us from a fear and survival based motivation in life to uh, one of joy, enjoyment, and creativity. That, that is the childhood, the childhood's end game. Mm -hmm. You get to be free, safe, and, and rich as adults, and you can act like children uh, with all the facilities of an adult. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Save me a, yeah. my voice a little bit. Yeah. Address, please. Thank Without you. spreading the yeah, message, I have one, gotcha. I think somebody would adopt the universal basic income. Does anybody need a register to vote or switch their party? Uh, if you select them so like as first, most likely it will make a strong statement to the media, but it will kick down to your second choice anyway. Yeah, or, and if you have space on your top three, you know, just consider that he's still on the ballot. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Thank you. Oh, I already oh, got I mean, yeah. Do you guys know That's the design philosophy behind Andrew Yang's movement. Um, it simply means as you design your policy, always ask what's going to make people stronger, happier, and richer. And that's how you should design your policy. And that means make America think harder. And Yang is still on the ballot, so if he's in your top three, any vote will help get these ideas to the top. He's not possessive about his ideas. So if Bernie adopts the universal basic income, it would be a great thing. Um, this, ours is the only campaign where we have people flying overseas from Europe and Australia to volunteer. The reason is he had universal basic income is by something that economists and philosophers are saying, and they're saying, and poverty is by the time where technology is popular. That's what it is. We're not trying to win the race right now, we're just trying to repel these messages up to whoever gets in office. Hoping Bernie, Warren, or Biden will support basic income. Because poverty can be eradicated this year. These are Andrew Yang campaign stickers. Oh, thank you. Yes. I'm send this to my son. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's still on the ballot, so if you have room on your top three, you know, it'll help propel his message up. Okay. No. Take your pool sticker. Take your pool sticker. Please, sir. Yeah. Um, like some pool stickers? Yeah. Math means make America think harder. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
the yang's still on the ballot, so yeah. On one of these. Okay. So he suspended. He suspended his campaign. No, he said he dropped out. Suspended. Okay. Yeah. Which means he's actually focusing on 2024. Right All now, right, he's suspended till 2024. Okay, yeah, and he's sense. still on the ballot, so you can still vote yeah. for Yang. He still help propel his messages. Yeah, would stop me from voting for Bernie. Yeah, I mean they're both out to solve poverty. But he would, I would love to see Bernie Yang take him to Bernie. Mapping make America think harder. Awesome. Yeah, Bernie like Yang would be good. I would yeah, love I, I like him. Yeah. Yeah. We're also hoping uh, Bernie would uh, adopt universal basic income, something philosophers and. Economists uh, have theorized will end poverty. Yeah, I know. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, uh, well, let me know. Let me know when you see you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. People don't realize what's coming, but pretty soon it will be just the transportation industry. There'll be nothing on the road. Yeah. It's not again. There'll be not the hundreds of thousands of jobs lost. Yeah. I've heard games. It's going to be 15 million. 15 million next 15 and years. Because even the. Uh, Conservative Democrats, oh, that's just, they're just trying to scare us. Mm -hmm. When it hits them, they're going to be shot. It could be a few years. Yeah. But they don't even realize it's already hit a lot of places. That's why places. Trump got elected, because he automated away manufacturing jobs in the free states. I won't even stand in a do it yourself supermarket. Mm -hmm. It's just a tiny part of it. Yeah, well, good luck. Cause yeah, so the basic income will make Ameri every American a shareholder of the economy, collecting yeah. dividends. So we no longer have to be scared about automation. We should actually rejoice. behind it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And it would eliminate all the other social safety net programs. Yeah, I think it'll, Most of it'll them. make them obsolete. Yeah, it'll make, make them obsolete. obsolete. Yeah. And in the long run, it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. For sure. You know. Yeah. Tell people that. They like that cheaper thing. <laughs> This is design philosophy behind Yang's campaign. Now that we're no longer you know, trying to beat out other people in the rat race, we're just trying to keep the message going. Hoping Bernie or anybody else would adopt universal basic income, the best way to end poverty at a time where technology is automating away processes in the economy. Map means make America think harder. <laughs> So he suspended his campaign. Suspended. It just means he's not putting effort into running for 2020 right now. He's focusing on 2024 and the social movement to end poverty. Okay, that's um, great. Yeah, it was never about like being power hungry, getting into office. So he's not possessive about his ideas. Bernie, Biden, Warren, anybody, any one of those people, if they were to adopt universal basic income, that would be good for society. Yeah, I think he'll probably end up in somebody's cabinet or VP. Which is a good thing. Yeah, even if not, like this I think movement. everybody should just like find a position. Whoever wins, wins, mm -hmm. but everybody else should just do it. Everybody has to put like a purpose. Yeah. They all do. Like Elizabeth Warren has education and we need someone that actually was a teacher. So Yang's campaign is about evolving like mankind's consciousness. Really yeah. It's like because make America like think harder, yeah. like continuously. Yeah, especially since and I like his uh, platform on like you know uh, economic lens and money. Yeah, uh, freedom dividend. It makes yeah. everybody a shareholder of the economy. Yeah. You get a thousand dollars dividend. That's smart. Also, that's right. From Paris to Electronics, now everybody's literally on the phone. Yeah, we're doing better. Go for Bernie. Hold on. Yeah, so he's on the ballot. So as as high as we can vote him up, the more likely these ideas will be adopted by other people. All right, good. Because I know Bloomberg's just about to go in into the debate. Yeah. yeah. He's flexing his money. Uh, and then he came into the fucking race so late, too. Yeah. Yeah. Some cool stickers? Yeah, I want that sticker. <laughs> this, one, this map means make America think harder. He's still on the ballot, so as high as we can push his ideas, the better. Maybe Bernie will pick up universal basic income. It would be a good thing for ending poverty. Should I have one of these?
no map means make America think harder. Cool. So this is still on the ballot. If it's in your hearts to vote for him, I would recommend you to vote your heart. It matters. Uh, the more votes he gets, the more likely his ideas will be seen by others. We want to either Bernie, Biden, or whoever gets up there to adopt universal basic income also. Yeah, it's the best way to end poverty. Like, philosophers and economists have been theorizing that some, there will be a time we could use this policy to eradicate poverty at a time when technology is automating processes. It's literally the same thing. It's that means make America think harder. Yep. So Yang is still on the ballot. If you vote for him, it'll help push his messages up to whoever wins. Um, universal basic income is going to give every citizen a thousand dollars a month. Full name and address. I'm going to run out of this. Full name and address. So he's still in? I thought he pulled out. Yep. So he suspended the 20... <laughs> suspended the 2020 effort and he's focusing in 2024. But we also want his ideas to be adopted by whoever gets it. So he's still on the ballot. He's still on the ballot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you vote him first, what that means is it'll send a strong statement to the media. Um, help get his message up to the top. And he's also running for 2024. Um, this movement is, is turning into a social movement to end poverty. And basic income, universal basic income is a big idea that people are pushing for. Yeah. Have you heard much about basic income? Uh, his plan? The, uh, yeah, or any version of it that uh, economists have theorized will end poverty once and for all. Yeah. yeah. Making every, every citizen a shareholder of your economy, collecting dividends. And for Yang, it's a thousand dollars every month to put everybody right at poverty line, so nobody can fall below that. It's capitalism that starts at twelve grand a year and not at zero. Capitalism works really well when people have money to spend. But it doesn't at all work if you don't. Yeah. And that's what's happening in our society because of automation, uh, doing away with a lot of jobs and careers. Yeah, it's a race to the bottom. Right. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Do you guys like some cool sneakers? This is the philosophy behind Andrew Yang's campaign. Yeah, it's very simple. It means as you design your rules of government, always ask, is this rule going to make people happier, stronger, richer? Yeah. If it doesn't, then do something else. Yeah, I saw his episode on Patriot Act. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That was a comedy. Matthews, make America think harder. Yep. This is the philosophy behind Andrew Yang's campaign. Matthews, make America think harder. He has the best policy to end poverty once and for all. It's a policy that has Europeans and uh, people from overseas flying over to the volunteer for you. Yeah, he's still on the ballot. Any vote will help propel his message up into the spotlight. 
explain that again. I heard the last part of you. Uh huh. Uh, so you want to hear the last yeah. part? Yeah. No, no. Whatever you just said. Yeah. Tell so me. universal basic income is something that philosophers and economists have theorized when poverty was wrong at a time when technology and economies were accessible to black people. Some dark parts of drugs are just like, that's actually a good yeah. thing. People will lose their jobs, so that's the bad part. But if they are American as a shareholder of the economy, even if they lose their jobs, they're like limited to thousand dollars a month. That makes it a little easier for all the transition. Um, it also um, uh, solves poverty almost right away. And you know, through all of mankind's history, we've been driven by fear of survival. So we're always hustling to run away from uh, bad things like starvation, uh, being dominated by other people. With guaranteed survival, are you familiar with the Maslow's hierarchy of needs? So the bottom piece is survival. So if we can guarantee that, it shifts people from fear uh, and survival into joy, enjoyment, and creativity. Like any smart animal, any smart creature, when they have abundance in food, shelter, and safety, uh, all they do is invent, create, and play. And that's what's going to happen with humans. So in a way, humans play is by doing space exploration, with arts, with literature, connecting with each other, going to festivals. Um, so it's going to be a really different mentality that we shift over to an abundance mindset. And that can happen if we have a universal basic income. So that's the big idea. Mm -hmm. So Yang's still on the ballot, so if you like any of those ideas, um, voting him as high up as we can will help get these ideas adopted by other people. And he's also running in 2024. Mm -hmm. Hi. This is Andrew Yang's uh, campaign slogan. Humanity first. It's very simple. It just means that as you design your rules of government, you ask yourself what makes people stronger, happier, richer. And if your policy does that and do more of it, then your policy doesn't do that and you do something else. Oh, yeah. I, I, was, I was reading about your religion. Why they prosper better than us? Uh -huh. they, they have the happiest country in the world because yeah. they have a different idea about the, uh, yeah, education. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's still on the ballot, so you can still vote for him. It'll help propel his message at the top. If Bernie is elected, we want Bernie to adopt yeah. with these ideas too. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, to make America think harder. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. no, he's still on the ballot, so if you vote for him, you know, his ideas will, might have a better chance to get adopted by others. He's also eyeing 2024. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like some Yang Yang stickers? No, thank you. Yeah. You know math means make America think harder? <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had the economists are saying he has the best uh, policy to solve poverty once and for all. It comes at a time where work is being automated by technology. So we're producing automatic output of the economy. Technology has kind of like oil in the 21st century. And we should be paying our citizens dividends. So his idea makes every citizen a shareholder of the economy, collecting a thousand dollars more than dividends every single month. Does that solve poverty? Is this for the next election, or would this be? Because I know he just dropped down recently. So he, he suspended his campaigning, but he's still on the ballot, and people can still vote for him. And the more we vote for him, the, the louder is the message that these ideas will uh, can be adopted by other people too. Yang was never possessive about his ideas. If Bernie, Biden, or Warren adopt universal basic income, Yang would probably endorse it. Yeah. And this uh, humanity first idea is very simple. It's just as you design your rules of government, always ask, does this rule make people happier, healthier, richer? If it does, then do more of it. If it doesn't, you just do something else. It's just a measure of how you're doing. And stop being so ideological and partisan about things. Just do what works. Yeah. yeah. That's Yang. Yeah. And he's still on the ballot, so the louder his, his visibility, I think the better. There's this whole movement of Yang Gang. We're not trying to win anymore in this particular election, but the social movement is, is actually uh, surging right now.
Yeah. Math means make America think harder. Oh, yes, we know. Word. Math. Math. All right. <laughs> you guys see these? Math. dropped out. So he's still on the ballot. He, he suspended his campaigning. Uh-huh. But uh, people are still free to vote for him, and the more we do, the more his mes- messages get heard. Gotcha. Okay, but yeah. I don't need any stickers, though. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Stickers? Stickers. Oh, All right. <laughs> yep. No message. Cool. Oh, thanks, stickers. Yeah. Thanks, bud. Did you know math means make America think harder? Oh, mm-hmm. fun. Yeah. He's been in the game of raising the national consciousness for a long time. He was uh, working on a non- start- uh, non-profit startup accelerator. He was fighting the brain drain. He went from top schools to Silicon Valley and Wall Street, which are greedy centers in America. He was trying to funnel uh, bright mind- minds into the Midwest. So he's, you know, he was doing that for a long time, and he felt that for every thousand jobs he created, the economy would lose a hundred thousand due to automation. So, trying to raise the national awareness uh, at the highest level, he decided to run for the presidency. Uh, so he's eyeing twenty twenty four now, uh, and he's still on the ballot today. So the more we vote for him, the louder is his message. And he wanted to end poverty once and for all with universal basic income. Yeah. Heard of it? Oh, UBI. Okay. Same thing. Let's have you do that too. I got this. Right? Okay. Go to that. I mean, I guess that's you know she felt mm-hmm. comfortable enough doing that with you at that point in time. Sure. But I just feel like. Oh, and then you need to slash. <coughs> Materials. Nope, grassroots made. Nice, nice. Let us know yeah. if there's a problem. Yeah, I, I say, made these ones. These, are, these would be kind of rare. These might be rare. Yeah, actually, they're collectible for sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, we had an artist in LA probably before. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like some collectibles? Uh, okay. And now things make America think harder. Now things make America think harder. Thanks, though. Right. You know Yang suspended his campaign, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's not about winning or beating anybody out right now. We just want any of his ideas to be adopted. It's also about not appropriating adopted. Trump language. Yeah. It's also about not appropriating Trump language. All right. Most people like that. Yeah. You don't have to, though. Fair enough. It fixed that picture. Yeah. He's still on the ballot, so if you like his ideas, economists around the world have theorized, have theorized for a long time that universal basic income will solve poverty once and for all when the time comes that technology is creating automatic output. Yeah, yeah, no, I've read about it. No, it's, I think it's an interesting idea, but unfortunately I'm not one. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. If you have room in your top three, it'll help. Otherwise, just it's all about getting, uh, I told Yang at our closing rally, that I would get humanity first Caucus? in the corner of yeah. every yeah. American psyche so that he doesn't even have to be president. No, it's too bad. As an Asian dude, no, I, I, he didn't he might never help aspire with to be right. president. Right. 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 Well, you could be sure of that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, it's too bad. Oh, sure, sure. Oh, yes. Why don't you come on in line and you can fill yes. that out while you're in line? No, that means make America think um, harder. That's right. <laughs> so he's still on the ballot. If you vote for him, it'll just propel his ideas and his philosophies higher up. The philosophy is simple. Humanity first just means as you engineer the rules of government, always ask, is this going to make people stronger, healthier, richer? If it does, we'll do more of it. If it doesn't, just change it. Don't, don't get all caught up in ideology, uh, the blame game. If something's not working, just change it and fix it. Take it. Yep. Thank you. Would you like some stickers? This is Andrew Yang. Yes, sir. I know. All right. Yeah, you know math means make America think harder. I know I'm Yang Gang, dog. Nice. Oh, I am. So he's still on the ballot. Yeah, yeah I heard. I heard. All right. Cool. Watching it grow, grow, and like He suspended his 2020 win, uh, so all, the, all his efforts are going to 2024. Okay. Although people are still free to vote for him, and the higher up he gets, the more visibility his philosophies become. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're trying to solve poverty with universal basic income. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. This, we were the only campaign with foreigners flying over from Europe to volunteer. Oh. And the, the reason is everybody's watching how we handle the fourth industrial revolution. Mm-hmm. And Yang's universal basic income idea 
It's been theorized by philosophers, economists as the thing that will end poverty and transition mankind into the next level of evolution, which is one of abundance. Collaboration instead of competition. Right now we're still transitioning from scarcity where we think we have to compete with each other. Instead, we got to align and unify and you know, all that. I never knew that math was an acronym. I, uh -huh. I, I just heard you say it. That's pretty cool. So he's still on the ballot, and okay. any vote will help propel his message up. Okay. You know, we wish Bernie or uh, anybody would adopt universal basic income. Yeah. That would yeah, be great for society. Yeah, if somebody tomorrow has ideas and mm -hmm. run with it, I think that would be great. Yep. Because yep. it's a vast collaboration. Yep. All right. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. Cool sticker. Math means make America think harder. You guys like some cool stickers? Humanity first. This is Andrew Yang's campaign. Math means make America think harder. So he suspended his 2020 campaigning, but you can still vote for him. He's going to put more effort into 2024 and also ending poverty and grassroots. Yeah, he's been in the game of ending poverty and raising the national consciousness for his whole career. He's an author. He wrote two books about how technology has evolved society. And, you know, he's the only one talking about how we're going to lose 50 million jobs in the next 15 years. And he has a solution for it in a universal basic income. $1,000 a month, making every American a shareholder of our economy, collecting dividends every single month. So imagine guaranteed income of a thousand, a thousand, a thousand every single month for you, all your friends, and all your family too. That guarantees their survival, so that nobody is starving out there. Yeah, struggling that way. Yeah. So I can pull stickers? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Have okay. you heard of math? Make America think harder. I have not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Andrew Yang's uh, campaign memorabilia. And, right. Yeah, <laughs> so he's still on the ballot. Okay. And the vote is also just help propel his messages up. The, I, the big idea is universal basic income, and we would love for Bernie or anybody else to adopt that. Okay. Yeah, Warren was looking into it after reading Yang's book. So there's a lot of movement behind ending poverty. Uh, Yang has spearheaded it, but he's also not possessive of it. So if anybody else who adopt that idea is Warren has opened it to issues in Syria. Bernie Sanders used to be for it, and then he wanted to push more for a job guarantee or minimum wage. But that, that was his choice. Right, right, okay, cool, thanks. Cool. Did you get one of these? Andrew Yang. Make America think harder. Huh? Oh yeah, he's, we're not trying to win, uh, beat out other people now. We're just trying to keep the ideas alive. Yeah. The idea is end of poverty with universal basic income. Yeah, you know he wants to give everybody a thousand bucks a month. Funded by the gains we're making and automating our economy. Recently, you get some of these. You know math means make America think harder? <laughs> okay. If you want, you can check it and be I went to this Okay. Well, that wouldn't be the website for voter registration, but you go to NBA. Uh, so you know, economists are saying he has the best po uh, policies for un poverty. Giving every American a thousand bucks a month as if you're a shareholder of the economy. Yes. Very good. Oh, nice. So, uh, okay. I'm yeah, we okay. have, uh, <laughs> you know, math means make America think harder. He suspended his campaigning, but he's still on the ballot. And he oh, so, if you like his ideas, any uh, vote will help propel it to the top. Mm -hmm. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good. Are you in line? Yeah, are you? Behind you? Well, ladies first. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Or you oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I thought he withdrew. So yeah, he suspended his campaigning, but you can still he's still on the ballot, so you can vote for him if you like his ideas. Oh. Universal basic income is something more than the king calls the guaranteed minimum wage. Did you know that? I did. Right. So economists have theorized around the world that this policy would end poverty once and for all. But you don't have to sell.
money on UPI. Yeah. Like, that was <laughs> So that's what we're trying to do. Is it's, the gang campaign has turned into a social movement to end poverty around the world. And the ethos is humanity first. It's as you design your rules of government, always think, is this rule going to make people stronger, healthier, richer? If it does, do more of it. If it doesn't, just change. Bernie Sanders is my number one no matter what. But Andrew Yang won, I would not be sad. Cool. Yeah, so if you have room in your two and three, any vote will help propel that message up. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. Actually, a beautiful thing, yeah. provided that everybody gets paid. So. And that's what UBI is all about. Yeah. If you think about it, it takes mankind into the next level of our evolution. Because ever up until now, we've always been living in fear, fear of poverty, fear of starvation. So it's a fear and survival-driven mindset that's been driving us. Now we get to shift into abundance. So it's about enjoyment and creativity. Uh, what do smart animals? Do you ever have a pet that's like really, really smart? Mm-hmm. And if it ha- if it gets bored, what does it do? Um, Causes havoc. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. It's oh. like crazy. So with people, when you give people their basic needs, they start creating, they start exploring, and that's what we want people to do. 